Hey, welcome to NetLab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we are going to play This War, war of, of mine. mine, the board game. It's my war. We'll see. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This War of Mine is um, a, a survival game uh, for one to six players. Mm hmm uh, designed by, and I'm going to use my notes because I'm going to screw this up. Yes. So apologies in advance. Yes, you will. Um, Mikhail Oraz and Jacob Wisniewski. Wisniewski, I think that's Wisniewski. 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 You had a teacher with that name one time, I think. I did. Okay. Well, there you go. We just called him Mr. Wiz, though. There you go, Jacob Wiz. <laughs> there you okay. go. Um, and published by Awaken Realms. Yep. Um, plays in, uh, it's about 120 minutes, but. It's going to take a lot longer than Could that. Take we're, going days. To, we're going to play through a chapter, and I anticipate it taking. Yeah, so the, the standard playthrough is three hour. chapters. We're only going to do one. Yeah. Because it's long. Yeah. All right. So after the break, we'll take you to the table and we'll show you how it plays. All right. Welcome to the table. So what we have is this War of Mind board game. Yep. Set up for two players, controlling three survivors. Yes, right? for now. Right. So this board game is all about a uh, a, a, civil war. a city yeah. during a civil war, uh, where you are survivors and yeah. you're trapped in the city because it's been like blockaded, and the city's still being shelled. There's people doing bad things. Right. Very well, everybody's things. struggling to survive, right? Yep. So it brings out the worst. Survival of the oh. fittest. And this game certainly brings out the worst yeah. in everybody. So let's go over the components, the board, the setup, and then we'll jump into chapter one of the playthrough. And I think chapter one will be the only chapter, as we said earlier. So yep. let's take a quick look at the board. Uh, high level overview. You basically see a ton of cards out, right? So this is a board game with a lot of cards. And the cards are, are neatly sorted and placed in specific locations uh, in our hideout, right? So this is a, a beat up old house, it looks like, mm -hmm. right? And it's got, you know, an upstairs, uh, main floor, another main floor, it's like two upstairs, <laughs> and like a basement. It could really be like a silo for all we know. It's a I really, <laughs> it's it, just a really big house, yeah. right? And you have a bunch of cards that represent different obstacles and items, uh, areas that are worth searching, right? So the red ones represent obstacles, the blue ones represent items we can search. So we can search like trash heaps, furniture, and uh, I think that's about it. Yep. You've got rubble that needs to be cleared and dug out. You've got closed doors that need to be picked. Uh, you've got bars that need to be cut through, right? So these are all things that we're gonna be doing to sort of uh, enhance the our, our base of operations and mm -hmm. make it a little bit more uh, sturdy and protective and comfy, right? Yeah. Just so our people kind of don't become don't don't too miserable. Yeah, of, die of misery, wounds, and <laughs> hunger, and, and thirst. Illness. Yeah, there's yeah. so many things that can happen in this game. So we really just have to survive, right? And in order to survive, there's a, you have to be fed, you have to be watered, and you have just to like have, just like a plant or an animal, and you have to have enough equipment to, you know, to basically trade and barter and protect yourself from, mm -hmm. from people, from visitors, because people are going to come and raid your house and look for food. Right. Uh, down here, we've got stuff that that really is um, specific to our exploration because we're gonna at night we're gonna go through and we're gonna search different locations out in the city, right? So the game is gonna get cover the gameplay covers a number of phases, right? It's and it's one day at a time. One day at a time. One day at a time, and it's gonna start with the morning. It's gonna go into day actions, and and, and you've got this handy journal that you really just flip through, and it tells you what to do for each phase. So you've got the the morning, the day, the dusk, the evening. Uh, the scavenging and the night raid, right? And then it goes down to dawn and it starts the next day again. So we're going to be going through all of those different phases uh, that will be requiring us to feed ourselves, to, to drink water, to medicate, to go out and scavenge and bring back more stuff to put in our storage area mm -hmm. uh, to then further uh, enhance our, our, our house. And we've got these cards here which are called fittings. And these fittings represent different things we can build with components and wood and, you know, once you build them, they become active, and then we can actually use those items during the day. Because in the day phase, we each have a certain amount of actions, up to three, mm -hmm. depending on your character status. In the beginning of the game, your characters start with the status of hunger level two, which blacks out one of their three actions. So they're only going to get to take two actions right off the bat. Uh, we have our items here. We've got a die that we're going to use later on. 
Uh, we'll explain sort of the exploration yeah, in a we'll bit because I don't think it's we'll really necessary to do that. And, and the thing about this game is you really just follow <clears throat> the, cards the cards. tell you what to do. They tell you exactly so what's going on. So you just right? kind of start playing. So for the purposes of the start of the game, let's jump into chapter one. Right? I think that's enough of the overview, right? Because yes, you'll, you'll understand the game flow once we start plenty. playing. Very simple. So go ahead and draw the chapter one okay. card. All right, so go ahead and draw the chapter one card. And let's see what it is. All right. So hopefully you can see that there. Right. <clears throat> All right. So when the Civil War broke out, many people thought that it would only last a couple of weeks. But it's been a year since the military surrounded the, rebel, the rebels in the capital, cutting off all the supply lines. The civilians still trapped in the city suffer from hunger, disease, and the constant threat of shelling. It's another day of desperate waiting for the end of this terrible war. Of mine. Of mine. <laughs> all right. So what does the card right, tell so us? So what, what we need to do is to determine our objectives for each of the three chapters of the campaign, which we have actually already done. We've done that ahead of time. So we're going to go ahead and show you what our objective is for chapter one. So the chapter one objective is called help the sick and wounded on our area. So at any moment, you may discard any number of meds or bandages without resolving their effects. And for each discarded med or bandage, advance the objective marker by one. So yep. we're going to put this objective status marker here on the zero. And every time we, you know, use, uh, collect one of these items, we're going to move this up. And once we get to three, we can resolve it, right? So we have to the end of chapter to take care of this. And we'll put this back in the uh, upper section. And now, normally, and I know there's a lot of... Um, confusion about this on BGG, right? Because the rules aren't very specific about this this uh, part of the game. Yeah. The chapter one card in itself, once you reveal it and read it, people really tend... Count it, it doesn't say whether it does or not, but yeah. people tend to just start playing at this point. However, I believe, and it's not confirmed or not, so I could be wrong, that you have to draw the first event. Why I say that is because the chapter two card mm -hmm. tells you that to begin chapter two, draw the next event. Right. It's almost as if they it, it should say on here, like draw the next right. event. Exactly. So I think with that, we're gonna we're actually gonna play by drawing the first event yeah, card. So let's go it. ahead and do that. Yeah. It actually makes it a bit trickier if you don't, because then you're playing a whole extra card. Exactly. It gives you a whole nother round. All right, so our first event then is going to be bad news. Oh. Bom, bom. Well, they're already sad. So, so. they are. So we okay. So we're going. to... A couple things are going to happen on is this. The bad flash. news is there's a war going on. <laughs> <laughs> news flash. There's a war happening. Um, we're going to raise all of our characters' misery by one. So it'll have Yee. some text that we'll have to deal with. So here's some misery tokens for everybody. Okay, so I'm going to doling out the misery here. All right. And then um, the other thing that we're going to see on this card is up in the upper left, it'll always tell you to add a certain amount of cold right. to the space. So in this case, we're only adding one cold to the space, so that's good. So it's cold, but it's not, well, it's miserable, but it's not cold, I guess. Yes, okay. so we're all a little bit more miserable, but otherwise not terrible, right? So our mm -hmm. chapter one card is done. We've flipped our first event, and the event is actually, if you take your handy dandy journal, is what happens in the morning. So the mm -hmm. first thing you do is draw an event card, right? Yep. And then the next player. So you're supposed to do, every time it says next player, you pass the book right. back and forth, and that becomes the new alpha player who kind of makes all the decisions, but yeah. we don't play like that. Yeah. We kind of like to share the decisions. We try, and then like we forget to pass yeah, it back and forth. Yeah, it's too much passing around, like, so. Yeah. All right, we're gonna jump right into day action. So okay. as we talked about before, we we're only going to get two of our three actions, right? Mm -hmm. Because we have one of these blacked out. So think of these as like columns. And if there's ever a black dot in one of the columns, right. that you whole that. they represent that whole action. So it's not a cumulative thing where if you have multiple first column black dots mm -hmm. that you've got no actions, it's it, it really has to be a dot it's in kind the Kind of like column. your endurance in a way. Yeah. Like this, how many actions you can do. Yep. Kind of. And what affects you. So. Uh, all right, cool. So we have a couple of things we can do. I think that um, I'm going to start off and I'm going to send her to search heap. Heap. Heap search. Uh, all right, so we have a lockpick and a shovel, mm -hmm. right? So I think right off the bat, I'm going to send him to dig okay. rubble. And we have a third character. Do you want him to search that other heap? Uh, I don't know. Technically, I don't think we can. Oh, because it's like... Because it's behind that other heap. So we got to clear a heap to get to the heap. Uh, okay. So... He could climb over it. That's Marco. He's the firefighter. He is. He's good. Sure he hey, we didn't even actually talk about our characters. Oh, yeah. Do you want to do that? Uh, yeah. Okay. We can. 
So the characters that we're controlling, um, starting over here, is uh, I have Amelia in front of me. She's a lawyer. Yeah, so um, let's, uh, let's throw them up on the board, right? Okay. So we can put them all up here, actually. Okay. And Anton, right? Yeah. So those are our three characters. Yeah, so on each of the cards you'll see we have a couple of different things happening, which we'll explain as they become relevant in the game. Uh, but they have prowess and empathy. Um, a little bit of text here sometimes indicates that they have either extra abilities or extra needs. Um, so Amelia, for example, can write in her journal to lower her misery. Yeah. Um, well, she might be doing a lot of writing this game. But she ra raises her fatigue in order to do that. And Marco can use hatchets to open lock doors instead of lock picks. Which is nice. So, okay, once you use a lock pick successfully, you actually, it's gone. So. And Anton brings nothing to the table. He brings absolutely nothing to the table except for math. And empathy. So. <laughs> He's so empathetic. And he, like, needs books and stuff. Yeah. So. I don't know. Why are we playing with Anton? I don't know. <laughs> so the uh, just when you pick characters in the beginning of the game, you randomly draw two black outline characters and one red. That's how mm -hmm. you start the game. They have an inventory uh, limit, and yep. uh, Marco's got the highest of five, and that's going to matter when we actually start uh, scavenging. So that's the characters, right? Yep. And they are all represented by our you know, minis on the board, <laughs> and they all have a, a base that matches these little dots that yep. we put underneath their player card. So we just remember... Easier which characters visually. are which? All right, so what do you want Marco to do then? Um, do you want uh, him to go through the door then? Maybe. Or? Well, he can't, he can't shovel anything because you're using the shovel, so he's going to have to go lock pick something. Yes, so. Or he can go outside if you want. Uh, I don't know if we want to go outside just yet. Maybe yeah. he can poke around a bit. You want him to poke around? Or pick a lock. Why don't you pick a lock? You want to build something? Like a bed? Uh, yeah, so we could build a fitting, right? Uh, building a bed is going to help us sleep during the day, which will actually return That's some of your help fatigue. Us. Yeah. Uh, three components of four wood. We do have enough to build a bed. Do you want to do that? Let's do that. It's always a good idea. Right off the bat. So the way these cards work, these fittings, is that you uh, pick an empty slot. So like right now we have an empty slot here. Once we clear the heaps, we'll have some more empty slots. Right. Um, and you can just like put it right there. So you want to flip it over because we haven't built it yet. We haven't yet. built it yet. Right, put the components uh, on So it. yeah, so he's starting to take the place a new fitting action. Yeah. And you just have to pay the component cost, and that'll be his action. And three components. All right, do you just want me to pay those to the supply? Since yeah, because now we're going to resolve them. So three components, four wood, and this guy, his action is done. So that's all action one. Right, and, now and now we have, we a, have bed. a bed. Yay. All right, so this guy digs the rubble, so the shovel comes back, and the rubble card flips, and it's now rubble remnants. So <laughs> yeah. it takes two actions to clear right. rubble. Unfortunately. And nice. then you get to search the heap. Okay, cool. So when she searches, what are we going to get? Oh, so, wow. Wow, cool. So we gain one weapon part. Mm. Um, read that off to me. All right, so we need, uh, we get a weapon part. Uh -huh. So this, I'll show you what, what we're getting here. Weapon part, one sugar. A sugar, okay. Five components and two wood. I'm going to give one component and just right. put it up in the five so Up here is storage times five. So anything you have at least five of, you could put up here so that you're not using a lot of tokens. Because tokens in this game are limited. If you're out of tokens in the box, you They're can't gone. get it anymore. Yeah. So you want to, it, it makes you want to use your components mm -hmm. instead of hoarding them. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. So that was action one. Yep, right? action two. Action two. What do you want to do? Whew. Well, I'm going to have him finish digging, right? Okay. Cool. With and our I'll shovel. I'll have her search this other heap, the I guess. Heap. Um, and what do you want? You want him to like poke around a bit, I guess? Yeah, so the poke about uh, action is really just rolling a die and you get to collect wood and components depending on how high you rolled. I mean, it's like a roundabout. It's like a roundabout. <laughs> we could have him cut through these bars. No, you yeah, can't. We don't have a saw. Blade. Yeah, that's right. How about picking a lock? Okay. Right? Sure. And that Why takes not? a lock pick, which we have one of. All right. So do you want to illustrate how that works? Uh, you want me to roll for him? I don't know, you're not very good at rolling. Okay, so with picking a lock, you have to roll a die. And the... I know it tells you success. the die roll here. So on a 1 to 3, no effect. On a 4 to 10, you pick the lock. So on a 3, is no, no effect. Dice. So, okay. But you don't use up the lock pick, yeah. and it comes back. So it's just a wasted action. So we tried and he failed. All right. All right, so she's going to search the heap. So we get five components and five wood. Wow, oh, that's a nice... Wow. Fine. Again, I'm just going to give you these to put. All right, so we have 10 components in storage now. That's crazy. Now. Tons and tons. All right, so he's going to finish digging here. Mm -hmm. Put him in storage. <laughs> and that's it. So this rubble's been removed. And now we have another empty space. And mm -hmm. to, to go over movement on the board, it doesn't matter where things are as long as you can get to them. 
uh, you don't have to move like like count spaces to move anywhere in the house is available to you as long as you can get you don't have any obstacle blocking you and as long as the rooms are connected and if you're ever right. confused about how the rooms connect in this game this save sheet shows you how the rooms connect with these little black dots so as you can see up here you can't get downstairs unless you take one of these ladders which is why we couldn't get to these this furniture or this heap right so that's yep. how you kind of navigate the house it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. it's hard to see it on the board mm -hmm because it's kind of just drawn in there, but yes. that's it. So that ends our day actions, right? Because we only yeah. got two actions each because of our hunger. Mm -hmm. So the next phase is dusk, and dusk is where you have to feed, uh, drink water. Oh, this isn't good. And yeah, how we not find We any usually water? find water we in the beginning, um, but we didn't. So each character must drink one water. All right. And we only have two, so who do we want to give the water to? Well, if we don't give the water, that's going to make us more hungry. Or we have to miserable. roll a die. And either your hunger will go up or your misery will go up. Great. Um, I guess you cannot feed her because... Well, so then she can cure her own misery, right? She can cure her own misery, um, but that's if we roll an A and she can... Well, not at the beginning of the dawn phase. She can raise her fatigue, right? Yeah, that's true. And to lower her... Sleep. Yeah. And I can just hope that we roll for misery. Yeah. So, so we'll right, so, so Anton and Marco will drink. Okay. Right, and You're then, going out anyway, probably. Yes. Right? So. Amelia rolls a die, so on a one oh you rolled a ten. Yeah, what does that mean? Her misery goes up by one instead okay, of her hunger. That's, that's actually that's really, great. really good. And now we have to feed them. Okay. There's three types of food in this game. You start the game with three raw food. Uh, the the lowest level food is vegetable. <laughs> because my food eats that food. That's my food's food. That's my food's food. And so <laughs> You have these three raw foods, which is the better quality. So vegetables will feed you, but they won't change your hunger at all. It stays the same. Raw food will actually reduce your hunger level by one, mm -hmm. and canned food will reduce your hunger level by two. Right. It's completely optional to feed them. If we don't, their hunger will go up to level three. Which level four at everything will pretty much kill you. It, it will kill you. It will kill it's you. It triggers epilogue. So we'll feed all three of them, yep. and that will reduce their hunger by what? one. So they're all going to go to hunger level one. Which is and it, fantastic, because now we have a nice set of three actions. Which gives them all of their actions back. So they're all a little bit more sated. sated and functional. So that ends dusk. And now we go to evening. So this is where we select one of four tasks that we're going to do. You can either mm -hmm. sleep in a bed, sleep on the floor, go on guard duty, or go out scavenging. Right. right? So I think Amelia will stay on guard. On guard duty, because we are going to be raided at the end yep. of the night. Uh, if you don't have anybody on guard, it just is a lot worse mm -hmm. off, right? And I guess we'll send these two both out scavenging, right? Yeah. All right, so we'll go out, and they're going to scavenge. Now, if you do any action other than sleep, you're going to gain fatigue right. for the night. So we're each going to gain one fatigue right off right the off bat. The All right, so, and fatigue actually cancels out another action. So we're going to start gaining lots and lots of tokens here. Mm-hmm. All right, so that is pretty much the evening phase. It's really just assigning things. And now we go into scavenging, which is a whole game in <laughs> and of itself. Well, technically it's half a game. It's half a game. But it's a good part, a good part of the time it takes to play this right, game yeah. is done during the scavenging yep. round. So, um, so let's get to scavenging. All, All right. right, so now that we're scavenging, we have to decide which location we want to go to. Okay, so we've got um, a couple of locations. We have the garage, which is the closest location. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have a ruined villa. Oh. Um, or we could go supermarket, which is the furthest away. So each of these is a certain distance away, and that's going to determine how many exploration cards we actually get in our unknown deck. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a timer. Yes. So um, garage is going to give us like parts for stuff. The villa might have some food. Um, supermarket has like a little bit of everything. Yeah, I think so. I think our main priority right now, since we're out of food, is to get food. Okay. Right. So I think a supermarket sweep is in order. <laughs> okay. So we'll take that right. card. So we're gonna actually bring this down here. I think so. I don't know if you want to zoom in. So yeah. So everybody it. can see what we're doing. Yeah. So most of the, what we're doing now is gonna take place down here. Yeah. So ten cards from the exploration deck is going to make up our unknown deck. So this is gonna be like our search deck. Mm-hmm. And we are going to a location that has a couple of keywords, a basement entrance, bars, and a closed door. So technically, we are, could run into these things. So if we run into a closed door, for example, we want to pick yeah, the lock. I'm so lock you can bring any amount of items with you, but they are going to take up inventory, inventory space. Certain yeah. items do. So for example, 
you see the shovel and the lock pick. The shovel has a little weight with a one on it, which means it will take up one inventory slot, but the lock pick doesn't have that. So you can take this and it not count against your inventory. So we'll take the lock pick with us. We could take other items in case we run into people and they all have these values. So for example, the sugar has a, a three with a yellow circle. That's how much it's worth for trade value. Um, but they do take up inventory, so I don't think I want to take anything Yeah, yet. let's just take the lockpick. So we'll take the lockpick along with us in case we need it. Okay. Alright, cool. so to start exploration, you just start going through the deck. Alright. Alright, so stairs down. Look for another way. Uh, or we can enter. So we can look for another way by returning three exploration cards and then just moving on. Or we can enter. I said we see enter. We enter, yeah. So to enter, we have to raise the noise by three and roll for noise. So, so this the, is our little noise meter over yep, here. It caps out at eight. And basically when you roll for noise, you roll the D10. And if you roll equal to or less than your noise level, mm -hmm. you trigger a resident. Yeah. And they're not all good people. Like pretty much none of them are good nope. people. And I rolled a seven. Nice. So we're safe. Higher than the noise. So we cool. didn't attract anybody. So we're good. All right. So we can move on. Do you want to do the next card? Or sure. Or we'll take turns. Yeah, I think so. So this is where you discard them. And this is where you would oh, put yeah. <laughs> anything we're exploring. So right now we're cert we found a private card. It means this is something that somebody owns, right? And it's a piece of furniture. So we may ignore this card, so we don't even have to do it. It's here. Mm -hmm. um, but we can search the furniture, return two exploration cards, or raise the noise by one, and then roll for noise. Two, draw and resolve one card from the findings deck. So basically we have the option to search this. What do you want to do? We can take our time and be quiet, mm -hmm. or we can roll for noise. Uh, after raising it up to five. I, I mean, you drew, so you get to decide. Make me decide? We don't have a lot of search cards here. I that's know, that's my why only I'm, fear. I, I feel like let's, we have to do let's it. Let's raise it. Like, let's just do it. Raise it by one, and I need to roll a six or better. Yeah. I rolled a two. two. All right, so we triggered a character. <laughs> that's all right, so let's see what happens. So a resident comes out. A resident. It's a homeless. Oh, great. <laughs> I like how it's just homeless. Just homeless. Like, not even like homeless person. Mm -hmm. The homeless. Um, a wreck of human being. Oh, a wreck, a a wreck, wreck? of human beings. What is a wreck of human beings? A wreck of a human being begs you for some food. Um, if you give him, by discarding from the findings pile, green or yellow tokens with a total value of five or more, you can roll a black die and compare the result with, e with each empathy of the characters present. Uh, result equal to a less than a character's empathy, lower your misery by one. We don't have any of those food tokens, so right. um, if we do not give him the tokens, we have to roll the black die and compare the result with the empathy of each character present. A result equal to or less than a character's empathy, raise their misery by one. Okay. So. Our misery is not at two for these guys, is it? I don't remember it going up for them. It, um... I don't think it did. I it think didn't we go have for the, these guys. Why no, we I don't know why guys? we have them on two. Well, we had a misery because of our bad news. Just one, though. But that, yeah, but they ate and they drank. So yeah, so they shouldn't be at two. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. All right, so... Uh, anyway, so roll the black die. All right, so we each have to roll... So I'll roll for Anton, mm -hmm. right? So I want higher than a seven. I rolled a two. So he's okay. going to misery, too. Yep. And you get to roll for Marco. For Marco. And you roll a nine. nine. So, so Marco he's like, whatever, homeless guy. He doesn't Sorry, care. Sorry, tough luck. So okay. that gets discarded from the game, right? Yep. Awesome. Uh, so is that what it says? Check the bottom. Please remove, remove from the game. game. Okay. Yep. All right. So, so now, now we can, you get to search. Now we get to search our furniture. So we get one card. All right. And what is it? Um, and on these cards here, you'll see that you have um, different locations that you can search. So you kind of just search depending on where you're at. Um, we get a lock pick. Great. That's cool. <laughs> uh, more sugar, and we get medicine. That's good. That's actually good that's because great. that's towards our our goal. Remember, mm -hmm. our objective is we need to submit three medicines. So. Meds. And, and one, one sugar. sugar right? Yep. And now, on every location, there's a picture, pretty much, of everything you search of a black die. So you roll the black die, and I rolled a ten. So ten, Ooh, really? based on our location, is, is a vegetable. vegetable. So yes. we found vegetables. So you've never been so excited about vegetables in your life. Never. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> All right. So this gets shuffled back in the findings deck. The yeah. furniture card has been resolved. Yep. And then we continue on. And now everything goes in the findings pile, so it hasn't been brought back yet, so it's still out with us. Yeah. Reality, Reality impact. impact. Something unexpected has happened. So whenever something unexpected happens, you draw from the colors deck. And it's going to determine what kind of story we're running into. 
It's green. Oh, green That's is good. usually okay. not too bad. And then the uh, the reality impact cards will actually tell you which cards to look at to determine what script you're going to get. Right. And in this case, we're going to check the number on the exploration chart on the card's location, which so is So here cool. it is right here. Okay. So we have a green, right? Yep. So it be 499. 499. So normally you could look in either the book of scripts that comes with the game, mm -hmm. or you just download the app and type in the number. So 499, yeah. right? 499. And it gives you a story here. So between empty shelves and tipped over racks, it feels like you are the last person on earth. Like in a movie where most of the human race is dead and gone, and where only a few people remain to fight for whatever's left. That's exactly what it feels like. I know. Suddenly a sweet stench hits us. Ew. It's not rot. It's more like milk gone sour or old frozen food. Maybe it's old ice cream. I don't know. So do you want to check out the source of the stench? Or do you want to say that's not something we'd want to eat? I think we should check it out. Really? So we have to return one exploration card. Oh, we do? Yes, to do that. Or we can just get back to the game. I think it's a dead body. Or milk on sour. Either way, I don't want it's any of that. probably just old ice cream. Either way, we probably don't want to eat it. Right? You don't want to check it out? Well, You're curious. I do, go on? But, but we don't have that many exploration yeah, well, cards. Yeah, it's one card. You sure? Yeah, why not? Okay, because that's kind of what I want to okay, do. Okay, so let's do it. I'm feeling adventurous. So... Uh, okay, so let's put a card this. back in the pile and let's do that. All right. The door to the storage was cleverly hidden behind the paneling. Probably that's why no one got in there before. Unfortunately, without the power, the refrigerator stopped working. Most of the food is now spoiled. And there was enough food here to feed an army. Mm. That's a shame, but let's keep looking. Or we can take some of it. Maybe we can manage to cook something up with it. I say we try to take some All right. of it. Write down spoiled food, 1342, and mark as many lines as you want to take to the shelter. One line for one inventory point. Place it on the findings pile. Treat it a token as a green token with a value of three and a weight of one for each line. Each line corresponds to one canned food. That's awesome. Right? Ooh, yeah. Okay. So we are going to... Yeah. So, wow. This is really good. <laughs> so See, one canned I'm glad food. we searched. So we found canned okay. food. So we the game comes with these blank tokens, right? Like this. And you can write on them yeah. to uh, create sort of like these unique tokens that go with the story. So we're going to take food. What do you think we should take? Like three of them at least? I mean, at least. Put three lines on it because it's going gonna, it's gonna to weigh three. How many can we put? As many as we want. As many as we want, but it's going to be one weight per. So it's going to limit right. our weight. And our weight capacity is eight right now. Well, how, what do we really want to bring back? Water for sure. Okay, we want to bring back water. The stuff that we currently have, with the exception of the sugar, mm -hmm. is weighs, it's free. Like it nothing. doesn't weigh anything. Okay. Um, so we have we have what seven? You want to do four? Five, six, seven, eight. Four. I say we do like four. Okay. All right. So we'll make up the token with a value of four, with four lines on it, and then that'll be put in our storage. Remember, it's always going to be subject to somebody. That's going to be five, it. six, seven, eight. So we bring back four. We need three water. Oh, Literally, wait a minute, though. It says, but whenever someone eats this meal... Oh, C1753? C yeah, or go back to the game. So we don't have to do this. Oh, my gosh. I don't you think we should do this. probably end up having, like, roll a die. To get being, sick. Like, get sick. I don't think we should do this. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go back to the game. All right, so... Oh, that yeah. Sorry, that was kind of like a woo. Yeah. Like a, I, very I, exciting and then not very exciting. I don't think so. I think we're going to pass okay. on that because illness is not good in this game. Yeah. Really uh, I think let's great. just play and safe. And there's enough good food. If we can find it. Hopefully. So let's Hopefully. keep going then. Roll the die. Yeah. No, no thanks. Nope. Oh, so we have a private location right. now. Cool. So what are, what are the Not options here? Else. Yeah. I always do um, discard like that. We, did we trigger that? We did. Yeah, all right, so, so that goes back down. So. Um, so we can return two exploration cards and raise the noise or raise the noise. I said we raise, raise the noise. the noise and roll. And roll. So you could roll that okay. one. Okay. So we need a three or better, and you roll a seven. seven. So we're good. Nobody okay. comes out. Um, so we get to resolve a, a heap. A heap. Peep, peep. All right, so we get a mechanical part and chems. Right, and then a die roll. Want me to roll the die? I want to roll. Okay. A mechanical part? Mechanical part and chems, yep. Nine. Six. Oh, six. <laughs> yes. Does have that line What on. do we have? A uh, weapon part. Okay. Wow, anything above a six is really good. I know. Actually, this whole place is pretty good, actually. I know. We should, like, keep going back here. All right. So we searched the heap. That's done. Okay, Let's go to next. the next one. Uh, I think I saw something. Return as many exploration cards as you wish and roll the black die. Add the number of the return exploration cards to the result. A result of one to five, draw and resolve a residence card. 
So we want to try to roll a five to ten. Uh, actually, a six, six to, to ten. ten. Yeah, I don't think we should return any cards. No, because we only have a couple. So left. I will try to roll out of this resident. Sure. Whoa. What was that? Six. Six. Yes. Cool. Okay. I don't think we saw anything. Nope. Let's press on. It was a shadow person. Yeah, shadow. It was a shadow man. <laughs> That's no good. Okay. All right, here's our closed door. Okay. Um, so we can... I'll never get that I'll right. be moving this card from the this card <laughs> yeah, over like the to the, the exploration pile the whole game. Um, <laughs> so we have the closed door, and what will happen when you get these is either you'll have the location on your card or you won't, uh, but we do have closed door we do. right there, so we get to go ahead and do the card. Um, so we can pick the lock. We have a lock pick. I guess we do that, so yep. I'll roll the die. So re return an exploration card, because it's going to take time to pick. Oh, that's and right. And then roll the die. Do you want to return I do. the card? I do. I do. We have to. We must. We must. We must move on. Alright. So eight. eight. Yes. Discard lock the lock pick and the door opens. Perfect. So that is now used up. And then after opening, add five cards to the exploration deck exactly, in the unknown yeah. deck. Okay. And draw and resolve one findings card for the furniture chart. See, that's perfect. So we've just yep. bought ourselves some more time by opening this yep. door. Um, draw and resolve a findings card, and we solve for furniture. Yep. An herb, a mechanical part, and a weapon part. All right. Just herbs, though, not herbal meds. It's okay. It's all Herbs. Goods. And... Mechanical part and a weapon part. Oh, yeah, right here. <clears throat> so many weapon parts. I know. They sell for good. Hopefully... We run into a resident we could actually trade with would be nice. Yeah. Um, we might, be, we might be out of weapon parts. Yeah, I think this is the last one. Okay, so that should be it. I we have a ton of weapons parts. So okay. go ahead and roll for the special finding. A three. Three is like nothing. It is nothing. That's exactly oh, what it is. All right, my turn. Climb up. We could look for another way and return three exploration cards we can climb, roll the gray combat die for each scavenging character, and take wounds. No. We are actually going to look for another way. Okay. So we're going to return three exploration you want cards. Wounds? No. Not even close. All right. Okay. Next. Search Ooh, the pantry. Nice. It's your favorite one. This is the best one. In the um, return two exploration cards or raise the noise. I say we raise the noise. Raise it and roll. roll. Nine, Perfect. so we're safe. Great. Um, and we've got pantry, vegetable, sugar, and a cigarette. Wow. Fantastic. That's really good. Uh, vegetable and sugar, I said, right? Yep, and a cigarette. Sugar, sugar. How you got that? You got the cigarette? Yep. Right. Yep. All right, so roll the special findings. A wow, six. that was a... Is a weapon part, oh. and I think we're out of weapon parts, so. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to start exploring, and three someone's five. here. Raise the noise by three. Oh, great. That's all it does, though. Okay. All right, your turn. Door. Peek through the keyhole. Return one exploration card to look at the next card from the unknown deck, which we don't have any. Nope. Or raise noise by one, or roll for noise. I say we just raise the noise by one. To enter. But, the, but this is the last doorway, so it yeah, doesn't matter. So we're going to end matter. exploration. At the bottom okay. of the card, it says, or end exploration right. anyway. So we're pretty we're much done. done. So that's all we could do. And that's what we've run into um, at the supermarket, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so yeah, so now we're going to move on to the next phase. OK, so now that scavenging is over, we are going to move on to the next phase, mm -hmm. which is the night raid. Yay! So everything stays here. So this is kind of like You're happening like yeah. while they're on their way back. It's simultaneous. Action. Yes. So we've got Amelia on her own guarding yes. the hacienda. <laughs> and let's see what happens. Barely a hacienda. Oh no. Starving people. Starving people. Great. Okay. So the starving people are going to take any four tokens or resources starting with the green ones and inflict one wound. But since we have a guard, she gets to fight back. All right. So roll the combat die. So the great, so... Did you want me to, well, do you want to explain that? That's first? right, you've already rolled, so... Okay, <clears throat> well, I'm gonna roll again. I know. So there are three different combat die in the game. There's a red, and this is for firearms. There's a yellow, this is for like a melee weapon, like a knife or a hatchet. A, a what? Melee. Oh, I say melee. Melee? Is that wrong? Yeah, they're both the same. Okay. 
And then you've got this one, which is just fists. So we're unarmed, so you, it's damage is really hard to come by in this yeah. die. So since you have prowess, right. every prowess you have earns you a reroll, right? Yes, it does. So, so you get one more roll. Oh. All right. Can I roll it inside the thing? Yes, you can roll it in the box. And it's a zero. It's still zero. Okay, so, so what you could do sucks. is you could use those um, damage indicators, and you can get up to two of them to offset some of what they're going to do to us. Yeah, like I punch them or something. <clears throat> yes. This is a very accurate game, though, and I'm not very good at punching. No. So they're going to take any four tokens now. Yeah. Considering that we only have three tokens here. Well, tokens are resources. Oh, or resources. Mm -hmm. All right. So they're going to take the sugar. Mm-hmm. They're going to take the weapon part for sure. Mm -hmm. They're probably going to take the shovel. Because mm -hmm. they go by value, right? So the, the yeah. shell is actually the most valuable. So well, take your, food of any kind, of any kind goes first. Yeah. So they're going to take all the food, which is just our sugar. <laughs> Fortunately, we don't have any other yeah. food. A weapon part, a shovel, so that's three. And then probably a components. Pe maybe a component. Yeah, because wood's hard to come by. Yep. And I'll, I'll cash you out for some... Oh, she's just going to take a wound. And she's going to take a wound. Okay. Right? So... That was a bad that night. That was a bad night for Amelia. Right, so that's the trouble with leaving guards. Unfortunately. Had she gotten a, a fist, we could have offset like the wound, for example. Yeah. And then just had lost some resources. But that's the breaks. You know, it's it's a war. Yep. All right. So okay. So now we're back. So that was the night raid. I'm moving this back down. Okay. It bothers me when it's wrong. And now we have the crime wave, right? So the crime wave just happens at the end of the night phase where there's two decks on the side of the board. There's a night raid and a residence deck. Those have very hard cards in them. Mm -hmm. And one of each or two of one, it doesn't matter your you choice. One of each? Yeah, one of each. Two cards come in from those <laughs> decks and get shuffled in. And they basically add a hard card to these decks. Which so the game is gonna, you know, gradually get harder, obviously. <clears throat> And the next phase is the dawn phase, right? So the scavenging party returns. So let's bring right. them back. Now we knew we calculated that they had enough room for it all, right? Uh, we did, then we got a bunch of extra stuff, so. Oh yeah, let's count what we um, have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of that stuff. Seven weight out of an eight. And so yeah, yeah we're gonna have to lose gonna some stuff. But we're gonna need to bring back, we need to bring back like water. So why don't we leave the, sh let's no, bring the, the sugar. Sugar's, yeah. The sugar's food, you It's know? not. Weapon parts, I don't think we need. All right, drop the weapon parts then. There. Or at least two of them. What do you think? I'd say get rid of all three weapon parts. We're really? not going to build a weapon. The mechanical parts are really good. Yeah, keep those. Sugar counts as food, doesn't it? No, you can't eat sugar. Oh, you can't? No, but, but you could. But <gasps> you could, but it's not going to help you. But the, the raiders at night do take that first, right? Yeah. So it's not bad to have it, but and we can make stuff out I of mean, it too. I mean, this is four if we keep these ones. That's four, so then we'll have four slots left. I'm and I think do three water. Three water. And then, do you want like another piece of wood or something? Because we're probably gonna yes, build, definitely take like, wood. A heater or something. Three water and right. a wood, right? So you can take <coughs> as many water, wood, or components as you have room for. So we could have technically left all the other stuff behind mm -hmm. and just brought water, wood, and components back. Yeah. But we have ten components and three wood, so I think wood is probably the way to go. Yeah. So let's bring it all back. So we we left the weapon parts behind, right? Yep. So we don't really have weapons. Right? All right, so you can only take so much with I'm you. Not like going that route. So I don't yep. think. Can't take it all with you, unfortunately. <laughs> Should be able to like leave it there and then go visit the location again. <laughs> Just go pick and, it like, back go up. Go pick it up from your stash. That would be good. And all this stuff again is like lightweight, so it doesn't count. Mm -hmm. All right. All right so go. that is the dawn. Now we would. So everybody came back. Everybody's here, kind of recapping their nights. How horrible they were. We would now assign meds and bandages. Uh, we have meds, but they're for for illness. Mm -hmm. And yeah, band bandages would help her with her wounds, yeah. which is something we, we're going to need to go after. And then we draw a fate card. So we're not going to assign any meds or bandages. And we draw the top fate card. So the top fate card, and you just read down the list. So raise the illness of all ill characters who did not take any meds by one. So nobody's okay. ill, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, heal the wounds of all characters who had bandages by one. Mm -hmm. no Discard bandages. any bandages and tokens, right? If the cold tokens, so there's one, minus board ups. We don't have any board ups on the house yet because you can board up some of these holes to, to better fortify. Uh, equals five or more, and it doesn't. Mm -hmm. The illness would go up of all the characters. Exchange the nearest medium location. All right, so on the bottom of each of these, it has like small, medium, whatever. 
the garage is actually the closest yep. medium, so we'll get rid of that. So that gets removed from the game. Yeah. Everything yeah. slides down, right? Yep. And then the next location is revealed. Resolve any weight tokens. We didn't have anything that had weight on it. And then resolve spirit A on all character cards. Oh, okay. So let's go we down. What did you bring house. out? A quiet house. Ooh. Mm. Uh, what did you pull out for? What do you have for spirit A? Um, her spirit A is discard one coffee uh -huh. from the storage. Uh huh. Or raise her misery by one. Okay. I think she's going to go miserable because we don't have any coffee. Super. So she's level three misery. Wow. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. That's why yep. I was a little bit worried about her. Yep. Uh, so Marco, if any character in the group is hungry by level three, his misery goes up. But nobody's that hungry. Mm -hmm. And Anton, if there's at least one book in storage, we could lower his misery by one. If he is miserable and then raise his fatigue by one. So he would take some time to read a book. We don't have any books. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, hmm. she's just a little bit more miserable. Yeah, I have to figure out what to do about that. Because right. I can raise her fatigue in order to when do you do that? reduce her misery, the dawn phase. Oh, at the beginning of this phase. Yeah. Yeah, why don't you do that? No, because if I raise her fatigue, she's only gonna get one action. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not good. Um, but she could sleep at the beginning of the day anyway. And that'll bring it down to zero. In a bed? Yeah. And then she'll get the she'll get one action. She'll get after two. That. One. Why? Her first action she'll her take. Her first action would be sleep. And that gets oh See because I mean? she's wounded. She's still wounded and, and like miser miserable and stuff. So I think you're better off doing that because one more misery and she's dead. Right. Oh, even though it doesn't get rid of her actions. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. So you have to raise her fatigue by one, right? All right. So. And that lowers her misery by how many? By the same amount. Oh. It doesn't do much. Oh. Do you mean to bump her to a fatigue three? Yeah, and bring her down her to one misery, yeah. It'll lower her fatigue by two and bring her down to just one. So it, it's what? fine. In bed, bed will lower your fatigue by two. So it'll bring her to a fatigue one. Yeah, which is better with mis leaving her at misery one. Because if we don't find coffee again, you know, her lack of coffee could kill her. Oh, God. All right, so we get to draw a narrative card. So narrative action cards. You draw the top two, and then we get to choose one. These are all good. So we have duty, which is play during the day action phase to raise one chosen character's fatigue by one to automatically remove one rubble and one rubble remnants card without losing any losing an action. Mm. So this would just get rid of a rubble card. Yeah. This one's a night owl, which would allow one character to perform all their actions I like that one. at night yeah. as if it were the day phase. So the yeah. person on guard duty gets to actually take actions, Do actions yeah which is huge That's it's cool. like a whole nother round of actions which is nice mm -hmm. okay all right so that was a narrative action and then it goes back to the beginning so now we are on the morning mm -hmm. of day two so this is actually out of the game okay uh, i say we get rid of this med I'm to bump here. our objective okay. card up by one so we've paid one med yep and we draw the next event so what do we have all right. Army deals. Oh, great. All right, so we're adding three to the cold Three space. cold. Wow. So that we got really cold out. It's not good at all. So this says, place this card in the findings pile, and the value of cigarettes, moonshine, alcohol, and jewelry is raised by five. That's pretty good. If we trade. If we trade. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So the cigarette that's normally worth a buck is now worth six. Yeah. Which is really, really good. Because the army deals. Army deals. It's like, it's like army, army surplus. Army. <laughs> 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 the same joke about two different army stores. Um, anyway, sorry. All right, about so now that. We're, we're on the day action, so we're going to start the next day. All right, so she's going to go take a nap. That's it, immediately go to sleep. That's all. I'm a little concerned here. All right, so I'm actually going to take Anton to go search this furniture. Okay. And why don't we okay, build something? Up. Yeah, I was gonna we have say. so many components. Yeah, and I don't want to risk getting those taken, like a metal workshop. You have maybe. been taken. All right, build them. I know that the herbal garden, the upgraded herbal garden, makes you band aids, but it takes a while. And you need like alcohol. Yeah, so like we have, a, we can build a workshop, a crude, a, a deadfall trap where we can catch food. We don't. We ha we could do this actually. What is it? Can I see the other side? Yeah. Uh, workshop. You have to set the trap, though. 
Yeah, you have to put what in it? Chemicals and something else, and right? raw food. We do have chems. Or raw food. We could bait it with chems and catch nothing. rats. And we could catch nothing, but we could also get food. Yeah. Raw food is good. Uh, we get a workshop where we can make like parts and filters and stuff. A heater, which will get rid of some of that cold. An herbal garden, which will... Oh. What? Oh, I didn't. Never mind. I was reading this wrong. Uh, metal workshop, which we can build our shovel, a saw blade, and a hatchet. Why don't we do that? I think that's that's usually a good idea. Yeah. We'll yeah. do that one? Mm-hmm. All right. So then we'll have this guy. Yeah. The the trap is weird. Like, you put it... You, can, you put raw food in it, and if you roll properly, you get raw food. Yes. Like, it's weird. I mean, you can also put the chems in it. That's why the chems are good. Yep. Yeah, the chems are really good. All right. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so her that lowers her fatigue by two, By correct? two, yep. So she's rested. Down to a fatigue one. Uh, we are now building this metal workshop. So that, that one component I took from here was worth five. Mm -hmm. so keep that in mind. So now we have a workshop. We can start building stuff. Okay. And then he searched this furniture and found raw food. Nice. Sugar. A mechanical part and a piece of wood. That's a good okay. find. Yeah. All right. More sugar. Ah, can't go back. <laughs> All okay. right, so we have six pieces of wood. Okay. And five Let's components. See what else we can build. Yeah. I think we want to build that thing that lets us board up, right? Oh yeah, we have to build that. Yeah, and I think that's the Is workshop. It? Is it the workshop? Yeah. Right, it's the first thing on uh, there. Make filters, repair guitar, bit, make a board up, yeah. What does that take to build? To build a board up? No, to build the shop. Well, it's a mechanical part, five components, and three wood. But here's the thing. You could also build um, a simple heater. Which will help us with the cold. Which will help with the cold. But the board ups help us with the raiders and the cold. Oh, they do? Yes. Oh, I thought they only helped with the cold. They yeah. help with both. So the board up actually takes one off the raider attack. Right. So if you have it's enough... one off? Yeah. So if you have enough board ups, you actually can stand okay. a chance, right? Yeah. Because the, um, the simple heater only requires two wood mm -hmm. to discard a cold token and to make a board up. But I guess it's consi like after you make it, it just keeps... You don't have to spend it, right? Exactly. So that's kind of good. All right, let's do that. Yeah, because we're going to have to keep spending the thing. Yeah. So All right, so it. we'll just put a, a workshop here. Five components. Do we have enough wood? We have five components, oh, and this I is worth two. five. Okay, so yeah, so just give me... Here. Oh, you want to put it there? Well, I'll just put it here. We, we paid for it, right? Okay. So Mark was going to build that. Uh, what else do you want to do? Because we each get one more action, right? Mm-hmm. Uh... Man, I'm just thinking about what we can make now. Like, uh, I'd I like know. to make that hatchet. One wood and two weapon parts. We don't have weapon parts. A saw yeah, blade. We got rid of weapon parts. A saw blade is just one weapon. Yeah, we need. Now we got rid of them all. We I need know. them for all these things. We could have made all sorts of them. We could have made them a hatchet and everything. Yeah, so we're gonna have to go hunting. And stuff. Well, weapon part and a component makes a saw blade. Yeah. Oh, we don't have a weapon part. That's the whole thing. I know. You can make a lock pick. You can make a shovel. I know you don't have components, do you? Mm, no, we don't. Wait, how much is a shovel? The Three shovel? components and a wood. Yeah, let's do that. You don't have that. components. Oh, we're out of components mm -hmm. entirely. Crap. Yeah. Well, yeah, we can't do anything. Because he's building a workshop. I mean, you could build it and not build a workshop, but... Mm, yeah, this is no good. Make him take a nap. Because we're all going to get tired tonight. Um, I he could take a nap that. and they get another action. You know? Yeah, so he'll take a nap, and what are you going to do? Um. I could poke about. Actually, I'm going to build this workshop down here. Okay. You want to go on a poke about? Or you can go outside and get a visitor? I'd rather not. <laughs> That's how you die in this game. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go poke about and All see right. what I can get. So his Maybe I can get enough stuff that we can... You know. That would be nice. So his fatigue is gone. Okay. This workshop is built. Mm -hmm. This is gone. I need the die. Oh, yeah. Here you go. All right. So the way you, you poke about, you're kind of like rummaging, I guess, and trying to find boards and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. 
And I got a seven. Wow. And that is three wood or components. So what would you like? I say components? get one wood and, and two, components? two components. Is that enough to build something? Yes, yeah, so we can put a board up, actually. It takes four wood and one component. Okay. Do Don't that. Do you want to build something like a shovel? Like a board up. Okay. We can worry about the shovel next time. Because what are we going to do? Dig once? I don't and know. And just flip well, the rubble? Well, whoever's here is going to get actions. Hmm. That's why I, I say that because otherwise like we can't get to that furniture right now. Yeah, we can't get to that furniture So unless this person's sitting here like going outside and poking about which they well, could. You guys don't get any more actions Anyway, this is your last action. No, I mean the guard tonight. It's gonna get it's gonna get another a round, round of, of actions. actions Which is if it's her she's only gonna get one action Two. She's gonna go on guard duty and become fatigued too as soon as she goes mm -hmm. on guard duty, right? So we could leave Anton behind because he's not fatigued at all. And yeah. you could take the night actions. And he takes three. So then the, two. then we would need um, three components in a wood. So then get one extra component instead of a wood. Okay. And then we'll do three components in one wood and get a shovel. What are you doing? Because I'm going to build a shovel. Right now? Well, for my third action. Oh, okay. Because he's the only one who gets yeah, a third action. Yeah, I was action. confused about why. Right? So now we have a shovel at night, he can dig rubble out. Because she already did her poke about. Exactly. Okay. He's got his third action mm -hmm. to build a shovel, which right. I paid you for, so we get the shovel now. Okay. And that'll go in our inventory for tonight and then overnight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm just that's thinking. I, well, that's what I was thinking. Yes. Because yes. then we would, now, now we can actually do stuff. That would be good. Okay. All right, so now it's dusk and they have to drink. We have water for everybody, okay. thankfully. Good. Hunger. Mm -hmm. So we've got vegetables and raw food, mm -hmm. which is good because vegetables will keep everybody at the same level. Yeah, exactly. And the raw food will actually reduce somebody by one. So who do you want to go down in hunger? Um, well, is there anybody who... He gets sick when he's hungry. He does. Yeah. Anton, he's such like a... He's the weak link. He is. He's... Goodbye. Goodbye. Like, you, you are, are the, the weakest, weakest link. link. Goodbye. All right. Whatever happened to that show? I don't know. You all the weakest link. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Evening. Uh, let's decide. So we decided that these two are going to go out, right? Yeah. And he's going to go sleep in a bed because yep. he's tired. No, okay. I'm just kidding. He's going to guard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So everybody gets a fatigue. Yep. So these all go to two, and Anton goes up one in fatigue because he's okay. on guard duty. And then you guys can nap when you get back. Right? Yeah. All right, so that was it, and now we go to the scavenge. All right. So let us begin. Um, I was actually thinking, since the night owl happens at the beginning of the evening phase. Yeah. I have to do. That's technically before we go scavenging. Yep. So theoretically, he we should... could send him out and also send him scavenging if you want to. Yeah, that is true. But we weren't. He's gonna dig and then go back on guard duty. Okay. Right? You don't want to send him out because then nobody's here to guard. Oh, I was going to bring her back. Oh, you want to bring her back? I don't know. I'm just worried that they're at fatigue, too. All right, you know what? Keep her... Well, that, that's not going to change, though. Yeah, I know. You okay. know what I mean? Fatigue only happens yeah, now. Yeah, as long as they can take naps when they get back. Right, so he's got... We did it because he's got three actions, right? Yeah, that's yeah. why we left him back. So mm -hmm. he's going to do rubble, which is shovel, mm -hmm. right? So this is the beginning of the night phase, right? At the very beginning? Of the, the evening? Of the evening phase. Which is before we even assign him. So he technically has no fatigue at this point. Because we didn't assign right, right, we didn't fatigue, fatigue until we assigned yeah, him, so right? He has three actions. So he's going to get three actions, actually. Yeah. So his first two actions are going to be to dig rubble. Once to flip it, once to get rid of it, right? Yep. So we'll get rid of that. Okay. And then his next one should be to pick a lock, I think. Right? Because what else can he do besides maybe poke around? Right. But I can pick this lock and then we can get to that furniture. Yeah, that's a good idea. Next round, right? Yep. And I just need a five or better, I thought. Mm -hmm. An eight. Nice. So he good. picks it. So this lock pick's gone, but okay. this this closed door has now been picked. Yeah, that's good. And we get a mechanical part and a piece of wood. Okay. Nice. <laughs> and now he's gonna go back on guard duty. And that's where he gets his fatigue. All right. And you, you wanted to, you were thinking of sending all three out, huh? Just letting people come in. No, I wanted somebody to be on guard, but Do I usually wanna... don't send Amelia out. But it's because they're, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Send them with cigarettes. Just in case we run into somebody to trade with. Who wants to smoke? Okay. 
<coughs> right? I Sounds mean, good. it doesn't weigh yeah. anything. So, yeah. wow, we've got four mechanical parts. I know. We need to build something. Yeah, agreed. Uh, oof. Okay. You know, we could bring an herb too. We're not really going to use this. Okay. But it sells for one, but it's still one, right? And it doesn't weigh anything. Okay. The chem we might use. Yeah. I'm thinking. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have anything else of value, I don't think. Do you want to go back to the supermarket to get more food? <laughs> we could. I think that's we, have? A, we have a quiet house also. That has canned food. And that has, I know. That's what I'm saying. Let's do that. Okay. But it's so far. That's fine. It's 10. So we did last time. There's food at the Rune Villa too for 14. Yeah, there's Where? raw food and a knife. The only thing is that there's no meds. Mm -hmm. There. There's meds and herbal meds. All right, here. we're going there. You know, it's quiet, a house. Quiet house. Yeah. So we'll bring this down. And we don't have a lock pick, so we can't do a closed door. Nope. But maybe we'll get one. Hopefully. Ten. All right, so we have our unknown. So it's a basement yep. entrance and a closed door. All right. Ah, <sighs> let us begin. <laughs> Stairs down. Oh, it's like the worst. <laughs> Look for another way. I guess we're we're going in, right? Well, yeah, let's raise the noise. Might as well just go right on in. Okay. Of course, it's like noise when you walk in. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to dig, get rid of our cards at this point. Four. Four. All right. We got a resident. Nice. <laughs> Survivors. That's oh. symptomatic, right? It is, but it's not good. <laughs> it's not good, I know. All right. So this isn't good. Determine the number of survivors encountered. So roll the black die. Okay. Four. Four. Okay, so there's two survivors, and that's here on the card. Okay. Um, and draw their token. So we have these kind of, you can't see them, but they're tokens. Like based mystery down tokens. Mysteries. So they look like this with like question marks on them. And these are going to be our survivors. So we've got a B and a B with a prowess of two and a prowess of zero. Uh, so that means they're both armed with a hatchet. Oh, that's great. Super. Um, place this card in the exploration slot uh, until we leave this location. Whenever we take anything from the pantry or furniture, we roll the black die. Okay. So these guys are going to go here. Um, the good thing is uh, we can return an exploration card to talk with them or trade with them. All right. So let's... So we'll see. We'll see. So they're in the location. We can always interact with them if we want yeah, to. Yeah, but if we want to take anything, it's going to probably be a problem. Uh, yeah, they're not going to like that. All right. You ready? You go ahead. Okay. Oh, furniture. <laughs> Super. What are we going to do? We're going to search it. Raise the noise by one and let's roll. So noise went back to zero because we got somebody. Okay. Raise it by one and roll. We got a six. All right, cool. So now we draw and resolve one card from the finding stack. So this is furniture, right? Yep. And in the furniture, there's a weapon part, raw food. Now we're going to take this. So they're going to attack us, right? Yeah. And you want to roll for the extra too. Yeah. A two. Which that is was probably... a wimpy roll. You want me to re-roll that? Yes. All right. An eight. Is that right, better? That's better. What is that? Vegetables. Okay. That was like a really weird. It didn't even roll. It just no, kind of it kind fell of just fell. There. I know. All right. So. So that's done. But we but just took food. What we happens? just took some of their food from their furniture. Uh -huh. which is Weird. I don't know. We have like vegetables in your furniture, but. Some people put um, potatoes in their furniture. We have to roll the black die. So roll the die. <laughs> which <What>? die? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I heard that. Three. Three. Okay, so you rolled a result one to four. C99. Oh, we have a story? We do. Oh, no. Oh, mm. no. 99? I don't know if that's good or bad. All right, let's go to 99. Play. Isn't this ours? We could always share. Divide all the tokens found by half, rounding the number up. The result is the number of tokens you must discard, meaning the ones we've just found, or and the ones from the findings pile. The value of the tokens does not matter in this case. If we don't agree, blood will be spilled. Combat starts. Okay. So they want to split everything we found. We just found what? Food? Well, what's in the findings pile. So that includes the stuff we brought. Um, no, it says it could be meaning the ones we've just found or... or and or. And or the ones in the find. So out of all of it, we can yeah. give them... Two, three, four, five. So we have to give them two things. Um, three things. Wow. Three things. So the ones, no, it says the ones we just, so if we say, yes. if we do it from the ones we just found, it's only three items. Mm -hmm. Right? And we rolled a three? 
All the tokens found by half, rounding the number up. So, so we it would roll, be two. So we took three Raw things. food, a weapons part, and what else? No, did? all we took was raw food and a vegetable for that last card. And a weapons part. We didn't, I don't think we it, took a weapons yeah, part. We took, yeah, there's a weapons part up there, see it? No, I didn't think we... Yeah, it was on the card. Oh, okay. So give them the weapons part and the vegetable. Why don't we give them the herb and the cigarette? Because cigarettes with a lot of money. Okay. So give them the weapon part? I think, right? Because if we do it all, that's one, two, three, four, five. No, I think it's, we take the ones we found. Yes. That tells us how much stuff we have to give them back. But we can choose from anything okay, in so the Okay, so half file. rounded down, we'll say it's rounded down or up? Yeah, down. So it's just one item. Yeah. That's why I'm saying. Oh, give them the herb. Right, right here. You know? Yeah, give them the herb. They can, yeah. They can take the herb for all I can. There, we're going to split it. All right, so we can try to stop the fight, right? Yeah. Well, no, we didn't fight. We didn't do combat. Oh, we didn't? Mm -mm. So then what happens? Nothing happens. We've No, we give some of the loot back. Oh, okay. Can be triggered after each round of combat. So none of us want to die. We can stop. We can. We try to stop the fight and negotiate. So I think they That's, fight us. No, this is after combat. Can you go back? I can't go back. Can you just pull up 99 again? Yes, I can do that. Okay. So. Okay, so. Look, combat if we starts. don't agree, blood will be spilled. And combat then they fight. Starts. They automatically fight. They fight. They automatically fight us? Yeah. Right? Because it doesn't say don't. Oh, so we're like offering them the herbs? Yeah. And they're like, no deal. No, immediately What's we must. Point? No, anyway. it said we, mean, we must discard them. That oh. just happens. Okay. And now we have to fight them. One round of fight. Even though we gave them herbs? Yeah, I think immediately okay. you just, so... Alright. Why do you say if we fight? Oh, I guess. Only if you fight does that happen, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll go with what you're up. You know what I mean? Yeah, that doesn't make sense otherwise. Like, what does it say in the book? It doesn't. In I think we're fine. Secrets. I think it's just, it's exactly, Something? it is okay. exactly from the book. Like, doesn't secret. that make the most sense, though? Yeah, I agree. It's, it's like, if you don't want to do that, then you can go ahead and try to fight. And if you win, you probably keep all your stuff mm -hmm. instead of giving them six of your things or whatever, right? Yep. So let's uh, let's Ugh. press on. All right. That was confusing. It was. Reality impact. All Something right. Unexpected has happened. All right. So here we go. Red. Oh, this it's is not good. Great. Let's just remove that card all from right. the game. Then we're gonna check the exploration chart. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be 286. 286. Mm -hmm. 286. When we were searching this small, quiet home, we suddenly detected a strange smell. We cautiously looked in the back of the building where there was an overgrown garden. A lonely, hunched-over man was standing there. In front of him, on a pile of tires, wet paper, and several branches, was a body wrapped in a bedsheet. There was a lot of smoke, but few flames. The man looked at us, and with great shame in his face, explained that he was trying to burn his wife's body. Ew. My Tatia died yesterday. She was sick for a long time. I couldn't get her medicine for a long while, and we knew it was just a matter of time. She asked for only one thing. She wanted to become food for rats and dogs. She asked me to burn, to burn her body. He stops here. He just can't find the right words, but we know what he means. Burning a body is a lot tougher than it may seem. He lost the person closest to him, and he can't even say goodbye to her the right way. We could help, but we can't see anything you give us in return. So there's not enough dry wood, but we can help you. And we, it takes us four exploration cards. Mm. But we leave without saying a word. It's his problem. He needs to learn how to be more resourceful for his own good. Back to the game. How many cards do we have? Not enough. Okay, we're going to leave. We're back to the game. Okay. <laughs> Let's press on. That's fine with me. We've got business. Oh, a heap. And a this heap. doesn't penalize us. No, because even though it says private, mm -hmm. that's only for pantries and furniture. So Correct. it's somebody else's heap, I guess. Um, we can return exploration cards or we can raise and roll. Raise, raise and, roll. and roll. Eight. Eight. All right, okay. so search the heap. Electrical part, chems, and cigarette. That's good trade value. Mm -hmm. And I will roll for the bonus is a six. Herbal meds. Hold on a second. I'm still oh. getting this stuff. What is the other thing we get? Electrical part, Electrical chems, part. and a cigarette. 
And then what'd you roll? Herbal meds. Herbal meds, nice. Which is okay. That works. Okay. So okay. that's the heap. We press on. Okay, your turn. I think I saw something. Return as many exploration cards as you wish and roll the black die. Add the number of the return exploration cards to the result. Roll the one to five, draw and resolve a resident card. So we're just going to roll. Mm -hmm. Three. Three. So we draw a resident. Okay. It's hobos. Oh, no. That must have been their heap. It must have been. <laughs> the hobo heap. <laughs> They're so angry. All right. Determine the number of hobos. So roll the black die. Ah, three. Three? All right. There's two hobos. So we need to draw tokens. Everybody and wants a piece of us are, here. Have firearm, and this guy is unarmed. He's kind of a crappy hobo. Great. Um, and yeah, anytime we we take anything from an exploration card marked private, so this is everything. Roll the black die. This is everything. Uh, so that's basically anything we scavenge. Pretty now. much anything we scavenge, we're going to be rolling for these guys mm -hmm. or for both of these guys. Okay. So do you want to try to... I think you, we, we should can trade. We can trade with both of them. So yeah, why don't we do that? Do you want to... Yeah, let's use, use, use the rest of our exploration to trade and talk. Okay. All right. So who do you want to do? The survivors or the hobos? I don't know, but I was just thinking about that um, last fate card that we played, I think. Mm-hmm. It was supposed to go under the last location that we had. I guess it doesn't matter. <clears throat> I was just thinking. Never mind. Oh, you were talking about yeah the reality impact, right? There was, yeah, there was, I don't know why I just thought of that. There was like a card that we were supposed to put underneath the supermarket. This, yeah, the reality impact goes under the current location, which is right okay. here. Oh, okay. No, you're right. That's that's supposed to go there. All right. Um, sorry. All right, so we want to trade with the hobos or the survivors? I think the survivors. I agree. So we, we have to return an exploration card. Mm-hmm. And? and that is 723. 723. Yep. Let's see what happens. All right, you may buy any of these tokens uh, ammo shells, weapon parts, broken pistol, bandages, meds, herbal meds, herbs, chems, books, lockpicks, jewelry, vegetables, coffee, cigarettes, moonshine. And they have a trade commission of one. Okay. Which is really good. Yeah. So that means we just have to pay one on top of everything else. Mm -hmm. Now we know our cigarettes are worth six six a piece so we're gonna sell both cigarettes i think right we can sell both of those right now that's like twelve dollars worth that's medicine worth hold on, hold on. Okay. put them I'll put them yeah <laughs> it's a dumb thing okay um and i think so we can buy eleven dollars worth of stuff right now mm -hmm. technically right yeah 12, I think we sell, one. let's sell the meta, the herbal meds because we're not using them we can't use those no. oh well, unless we make band-aids right which we're not going to right okay. So let's sell those. Six. So that gives us. So that's plus five. So we have a total of 16. That's not plus five, right? Uh, uh, With the trade? Oh, it's total? it's one on top of the whole deal. Oh, the whole thing. Okay. Yep, not per item. So we've got 12 plus six is 18 minus one is 17. Minus yeah. one for the commission, right? So we have $17 to spend now. So right now we've got one raw food, and raw food costs $10. I say we take a vegetable to keep everybody Copacetic. from going any hungrier, okay. right? So let's put their trade pile uh, like over, over there, here. right? So that's five out of 17. Mm -hmm. So that gives us 12. How about um, a book. medicine or band-aid? A book, for sure. Okay, for Anton. For Anton, because he's Does getting he have a, preference a coffee. Do you want to buy coffee for uh, Amelia? Yes. She needs her coffee. See what we have to do here for her? I know, she's so needy. Okay, so what are we up to? Seven. So that gives us 10 more bucks. Yep, so we buy one $10 thing. Meds. Yep. So we can do our help the sick campaign, yeah. right? Yep. Oh. What? Maybe we should buy you bandages. Maybe. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> How much are they? 10. All right, let's do that instead. Okay. We can always, band-aids are really hard to come by. Yeah. Meds are not as hard to come by, I don't think. I'm just thinking though, if we, uh. What? If we gave them our raw food and took back some other stuff in addition to the, you know what I mean? Because the raw food we could take back Like you want to take back raw food and get two vegetables? Well, we'll take, give them raw food. 
because uh -huh. we're going to sell it to them, right? Right. And take back one vegetable, and then we have five dollars to spend on something else that maybe we want. Okay, like right? what? Um, I mean, basically anything, right? You bought coffee, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Maybe no, uh, maybe I think we're it's good. good. All I right. Yeah. Let's good. leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. And um. Okay. So, so we've what got. Does that equal? This is going to be twelve and six minus one, right? So it's 17. 17. And we've got 15, 16, 17. So there you go. It's our fair trade. It's perfect. Fair trade deal. All right, so that goes in so our findings. Fine. And you want to try to trade with the hobos? Um, Cause, uh, unless what you, else do you want to bring like, back? We could dig deeper, but I don't think we're going to take anything because we're going to have to fight gonna, these guys. Yeah, I don't really want to take anything else so either. So we could, well, I think we have to go another car because this one doesn't let us end. Yeah. So let's go one more deeper okay. and see what happens. Did we did that? We did that already. Okay. That's how we got the hobos. All right, so climb up, look for another way, return three cards. Return three cards and then... And that's it. And exploration, it yeah. says on the bottom of this. So there you go. Yeah. We just finished exploring the base, uh, the uh, quiet house. Okay. Which turned out so to be guys, pretty yeah. terrible, but... Yeah, we've got some good stuff, though. But we did okay. We didn't get hurt. Yep. We got you bandages so we can heal yes. you up, which is important. <laughs> and uh, and we can move on, right? So that was yeah. the... Um, so we're going to choose our findings, actually. And we have one... These guys go away now, right? Two, yep. One, two, three weight. So we're going to bring... Uh, we have five more space to bring back, so... Water. Three water. And two components, maybe, because we don't have any components. Oh, we don't. No, oh, we're complete, completely okay. out. So I think we'll need that. All right. Cool. And that'll be that'll be it. So this quiet house goes back up, and this it goes underneath. Actually, stays with it until it goes to that location, goes away. Because reality impact can only happen once yeah. in that location. So that's it, right? So now we go to the night raid. Okay. So what do we? What happens to uh, poor old Anton? Uh, where's our other event? It's right here. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was like, why is that okay? All right, reality impact. All right, let's see if you can draw the red card. <laughs> green. Green. All yes. right. So, what is green? Uh, reveal the top card of the Night Raids deck and check the number with that color on it. Okay. 471. 471. We heard a knock at our door. There's one person on the other side. We see, uh, we can see no one else though through the window. Let's see who it is and what they want. Search through the visitor's deck and resolve the first arrival card oh, you find. Exciting. <clears throat> so let's find an arrival kind card. Of. So here's the visitor's deck. All right. And here's arrival, first card. Oh, wow. Great. Okay. This is actually quite good. Okay. So it's a wounded stranger asks for shelter. If you decide to take this person in, draw a card from the unused characters deck and add them to your group. All right. Okay. So we just got a new character, which right. is kind of cool. So who do we get? Is it random? It is random. It's Amira. Oh. She's homeless. Oh, well, that it's makes the sense. homeless from the other. She's not visit. homeless anymore. I guess not. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. So bring her in. She's terrible. I, I don't like her. Uh, see if you can fish out her her green. Can I pick a different okay. person? Nope. <laughs> All right. So also. She's um she's got two a level two wound. Level one hunger. Well, hold on, you oh. have to repeat all of that. Okay. I'm looking for her minute. Alright, let's right we'll grab that in a minute. Let's not okay. worry about that yet. So just grab her a, a level two wound, a level one hunger. Oops. And we'll get all that set up in a second. Yeah. A level what hunger? One hunger. So she's hungry and injured. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh she comes with a pistol with one ammo. Okay. Which is she's packing heat. Which is good. Yeah, wait till you see what she needs. Then we remove the arrival card from the game. Uh, here's the deal. If we decide not to take this person in, we could buy any items this person is carrying. Yeah. I which really is the pistol and the ammo. Yeah. Uh, I don't really want to buy her stuff, though. I don't want to get rid of our it's, stuff. You may. Right. I know. We I'm could, just considering the possibility. We could turn her away. Would you rather turn her away? I kind of would, because... Here's the thing. If she's hungry, we lower her hunger by one. If we Which is be. good. 
Oh, we lower it by yeah, one. Yeah, because she's used it. to starving. If she's miserable, level two or three. All right, so she's a little bit depressed. One. And she used to discard a moonshine or alcohol. Once per scavenging with Amira present, add one vegetable to the findings pile. She always oh, finds really? food, she always so she finds feeds food. herself. We'll send her scavenging. You want we to keep, keep her now? We can keep her. We can keep her. That's she cool. can stay. She can stay. She's proven her worth. I we guess. just have to heal her because she's in bad shape. Maybe she's going to get my band-aids. Is that what this means? Well, I think Here's that's a good thing. possibility that she's going to get your... Let's give her a color. What color uh, she's going to get green. Okay. So that was a night raid. Actually, that's not a bad thing. Nope, that wasn't too bad at all. Right? It could have been far worse. So, uh, see, Anton, he just knows how to get all the right people. He does. He just pulls them all in. Yeah, he's just charismatic. They, they could sense the empathy in him. Great, so we have an, uh, another survivor. So this is it, four people. Four people in the house. All right. Okay. All right, so, so that ends the night rate. Yeah. Uh, crime rave, so we get a card from crime each. Rave. Crime rave. It's a crime rave. A crime rave. <laughs> Why don't we just take two from the residence deck? Oh, okay. And that way our night raids doesn't get any harder. Oh, okay. That's fine. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah, because it's your choice. You could do it in any, any combination yeah. of two cards. So now we're at the dawn. So the scavenging party returns. Oh, no. Now we don't have enough water. Oh. That's why you have to decide all that beforehand. That's all right. Beforehand. We'll, we'll not give Irma water. He's going to come back. They're all going to talk. Gonna, They're you know, like, who is this? A family meeting. Yeah, who is this person? Another mouth to feed. <laughs> Taking in strays. <laughs> yeah, she had a pistol. She did. And she finds her own food. Yeah. She just, uh, she's proving her value already. Okay. Okay. We are in good shape. Mm -hmm. So far. All right, so uh, assign meds and bandages. Would you like to assign a bandage to Amira or yourself? I guess I'll give them to her. She's hurt pretty bad. I know. Uh, fake car. I'm sorry, what? Fake car. <laughs> All right, what All right. Say? raise illness. No, Ill nobody's sick. Nope. Um, heal the wounds. Heal the wounds of all characters who had bandages by one. Okay, so bandages get one. discarded and nobody goes down. Yeah. So she's just struggling with that wound. All right. If a cold token minus board ups equals one or more. Mm -hmm. So they do. Yeah. So choose a character and their illness goes up. I choose Marco the firefighter. Marco the firefighter is going to get sick. Because he like, heals himself. If he's ill, his Ill illness goes away. It, yeah. Depending. Oh, and it's going to. Yeah. Uh, oh, is that getting activated? Yep. All so right, well, I'm not even gonna exchange the, token, the so. smallest small the nearest small location. Okay, the smallest the smallest small, small location. location. All right, so that's gone. We don't have any weight tokens, and now resolve spirit. Oh, a derelict squat. C. Uh, number C. Letters. Let number C. Uh, if there are at least two cold tokens on the cold space, raise Amelia's misery by one. Great. Great. Um, did you want to do her thing? What thing? To get rid of her misery. No, because it raised her fatigue. Oh, it would have happened at the beginning of this, yeah. That's fine. That's no, fine. because her misery was only at one. Okay. So she does need to sleep, though. Right. So here it is. If Marco's ill, if Marco is ill, lower his illness by one. So he I would have had one illness, it. Yeah. it was going away. And Myra, if she's miserable, level two or three, her misery goes up again. So she kind of spirals. Right. But she's okay. And good old Anton. If he Anton is wounded, he, he goes wounded. wounded more. So he's not wounded. So we're in good shape here. We get our narrative hit. action now, right? Yep. All right. So two cards. What do we have? Oh, this goes away. So uh, yeah, actually, give me that. I gotta. Okay. I don't know if that goes out or gets shuffled it gets back. It gets out of the game. Out of the game. All right. So we've got a handyman. Um, automatically exchange a broken item for its fully functional equivalent. All right. Um, got it. Play during the scavenging phase when resolving a findings card, you also find a knife. Yeah, we want to find a knife. I think that that's good. Because uh, we, we don't have any broken items right now, so... We'll just put this up here. Yep. Because so we're going to find... I'm going to find a knife. Nice. Find a knife. All right. That ends day two. Oh, all right. Let's start day three. Morning okay. event. We didn't give any meds to our objective. So we have to get two meds this okay. round. Sounds good to me. Okay. Is that the plan? That is the plan. Okay. What's the event? We should make some medicine. All right. Reality impact. Ooh. Add one to the cold space. That's not bad. But something unexpected. Uh, something unexpected has happened. Oh, what happened? 
blue. And we're really revealing the top card of the events deck. Uh, okay. Which is this one, which doesn't have anything on it. So what's the next event? This one? Yeah. So it's going to be 481. 481? Yep. Okay. No living soul remembers a winter this cold. All those who survived the fighting and the genocide will now be killed by the freezing temperature. Nobody beats the weather, not even American fighter jets. Write winter plus two, 481 on a blank token and place it in the cold space. The token will remain there until the end of the campaign. Winter plus two. Each time you check the current number of cold tokens, add two. <laughs> From now on, every wood token has a value of one. From each trip, a maximum of two free wood tokens can be brought in. Oh. Oh, so we can only bring back two. Yeah. Ew, the rest must be purchased during trade or found during the poke about action. Mm. So wood costs one if we trade for it, but right. we can now trade for wood, which you couldn't before. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, so. Cool. Uh, Let me just write that put, down so we remember. I'll just write it on a scrap paper. Okay. Yeah, it's just winter plus two. And they say 41 in case we need to look this event up again. Yeah. But that's not terrible for a reality impact. But we have five cold up there, which is not, not very good. All right, and then... So wood is worth one. Yeah, wood, we can buy wood for one. So you just could write those, yeah, those notes, and that's fine. Oof. What to do? Okay. Well, I think Marco and Amelia need some rest. Yes, she but definitely needs But they both to cannot rest at the same time, unfortunately. Nope. All right, what would um, you like to do? Well, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. It would be nice to be able to, like, heal her up, like, let her sleep in a bed tonight, maybe. This afternoon. What does that lower her? By that two. lowers her fatigue by two? Yeah. Oh, okay. That'll heal her right up. Oh, okay. And then she'll get two actions. Oh, actually one, because she's wounded. Yeah. Um, but if yeah, you heal him up. But he can heal... Here's and the we thing. Won't be able to heal. Either of them, but, it's only going to get one action. I know. Here's what this is. What the rest of my thought that mm -hmm. I was going to say is that if she's he's most likely going scavenging, mm -hmm. right? If she stays, if we send him to the bed now and give him another action, mm -hmm. and she stays back and sleeps in the bed during the night phase, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Then she can heal up. Okay, so he should sleep now. Right. Because that will give him two more actions after he sleeps. Exactly. Right. Yeah. I agree. She should do her one action. Yeah. And then stay in for the night. Exactly. That's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay, I agree and with just that. just rest up. I agree with that. Okay, so Marco is going to go. He's going to go take a nap. He's going to go take a bed. <laughs> he needs a nap right and now. And she just gets an action. So she can do something. I guess she can like search. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Up there. Yeah, that's perfect. And I think you what go we're gonna stuff? I'm gonna build a wall. Okay. A hatchet, one wood, two weapon parts. I only have one weapon part. Dag nab it. Hmm. Oh, I wanted to build a hatchet. We need two weapon parts. We have so many mechanical parts. I don't Remember know we can make parts too. Can we but we can only make mechanical or electrical parts. Yeah. Oh, we can't make weapon parts. Right? No. Yeah. We can make a board up, but we don't have enough wood. So we'd have to poke about for that. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. What do you want to do? We don't have any lock picks, so we can't pick. That's why I kind of want to make him mm -hmm. a hatchet so he can break things. Why don't you just make him a lock pick? Uh, how much? What does it cost? It's a component and a mechanical part. Ah, uh, we could do that. A lock pick. Mm -hmm. And then at least somebody can pick a lock, you know. Yeah. And we could also make a saw blade to cut through there. Yeah. Why don't a we weapon do that? part and a component. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Make the saw blade instead? No, make them both. She can go make a saw blade. You know? That's it for our components, yeah. Yeah. But at least then we have resources that we can continue to use. Okay. So that's action one. So she goes back, she's done, uh -huh. and she searched the furniture and found a whole bunch of stuff. Oh she found a lockpick. 
<laughs> she found a lock. Yeah. Oh, darn it. All right, so jewelry, uh -huh. two books. Whoa. A lock pick. Did you feed Anton a book yet? He can't because it's a spirit action. Oh, we should build a chair. Build a chair. We'll build a chair. <laughs> you get the lock pick? Yeah, lock pick, jewelry, two books. Two components and a piece of wood. Two components. See, we got our components back. Yeah, we did. And a piece of wood, so that worked right. out. So these two build a lock pick and a saw blade. Saw blade, lock pick. All right. Wow, look at our stockpile of stuff. Here you go. Let's go back on the box. Okay. And Marco's fatigue goes away. Okay. All right, so everybody gets a second action. Except her. Except for Amelia. Mm-hmm. Whew. All right. How do we build a chair? Build a chair. Right that's here. a good way to get them to, like, relax. To get their, you know? their uh, stuff down, yeah. Um, Isn't it? We don't have a chair. Maybe it's an advanced item. Oh. Uh, which... An advanced workshop, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, build a chair. Two components... Uh, one component, two woods to do that. Yeah. All right, so we're going to have to... Um, so to get those, and this is a good way to, to yeah. demonstrate that. So I'll go to New Idea, and we get to choose two cards from here. One mm -hmm. of them will be build a chair, so now that becomes an available fitting. What else? And what do you want? A vegetable garden, another bed. Ooh. Yeah. Another bed might be good. Yeah, because they all get so fatigued. Yep, and then we could sleep two at a time. Yep. Right? Okay. They're there available now yeah, yeah, if, yeah. if we want to do a fitting, right? So that's what New Idea does. Uh, she's not going to go, but these two are going to take action. So what do yeah. you want to do with them? Um, did well, you want to go build that thing? I wanna, the chair? Or did you want to... Uh, I'm well, going to... Somebody's going to take a nap, aren't they? Shouldn't we cut... Oh yeah, cut through that thing. Yeah, no, I don't think anybody else is going to rest. Okay. And then she can go do what do you what do you like want her to do? Like pick a lock, maybe. Yeah, why not? I mean, that. Well, or... actually, she could shovel down this rubble. Shovel down the rubble. Shovel down the rubble, you know. Or. Or, build a chair. That's I mean yeah. Right. That's kind of what I wanted to do. One component and two wood. Yeah, it's why easy. Why not? Right. Yep. Where do you want to put that? Put it up here. Well, maybe upstairs in the corner. Okay. One component and two wood. And I say that because when you upgrade these shops, you actually have to put their upgrade next to them. Yeah. Like you're expanding. Mm -hmm. So that was everybody. Okay. So cool. he's got his ideas done. Mm -hmm. He saws this thing apart. Mm -hmm. Three components and a mechanical part. Wow. Okay. And she built a chair. And now for an action, you roll and lower your misery. Hmm, that's good. Wow, and for each book in storage, add plus two to the roll. Yeah. So that's like, that's really with so three good. books, it's like that's an auto success. So books, I really wanted to build yeah. a chair. So Anton's actually done though. He can't go use the nice chair this round. Yeah. But it's good for the future. Mm -hmm. Um. Marco is the more only turn. one who can do something. Should he go use the chair? <clears throat> just for the heck oh. of it. <laughs> Search the furniture. He just cut the bars, right? Okay. Yeah. That's it. Final action. Vegetable, oh my god. Two herbs, two band aids. Oh my gosh. I hope we don't get raided. One band aid. Wait, what is this? Read this off to me. One please. vegetable. Veggies. Okay. Two herbs. Two herbs. One bandage. One. A bandage? Yep. Okay. Water and wood. Wow. One wood? Yep. Okay. That's huge finding. This is insane. I know. This is, did we do something wrong? No, this is just, it's <laughs> all going to go yeah, away in like the flash of an eye. I know. I know. The flash, the flash, <laughs> of, the an flash of an eye. What's the flash of an eye? Flash of my eye. All right. That's it. Okay. That's all cool. of our actions. Man, this is too much. All right, but well now they're going to drink, right? But yes. we have four water now. We found water. Yeah, that's good. That we didn't know we needed. Yep. Oh, hunger. Hmm. Okay. So okay. who's hungry? They're all hungry. We have a lot of vegetables. One, two. We have three vegetables and raw food. So everybody can eat. Yeah. 
and the raw food we can give to actually remove somebody's hunger. Yeah. Let's remove her hunger. You want to get rid of it her? It doesn't hunger? really matter. No. I mean, I'll give it to Marcus, and he's completely. <laughs> <laughs> what difference does it make? I don't know. Because she's on, like, because she could get progressively worse. So you want to give it to Amira? No. Marco. You want to give it to Marco? Mm -hmm. Okay. And keep everybody else. It doesn't else. really matter. Only because. What, you think they're going to die? You never know. Yeah. If you're hurt. Why it, are you giving me four of these? One, oh, because everybody one, has to eat. He yeah. has to eat. Oh, Everybody's got to eat. No, I know, I know. You know what's funny is if you get them all the way up to like full health, all they need is vegetables. To see vegetables, yeah, yeah. They can maintain. All right, now it's the evening phase and we get to... Uh, Did you want to put our bandages up there? That you doesn't count, bandage. does it? Oh, bandages does, yeah. right? No. You said we had to get bandages and all this stuff. We do, but we've, we've got them. That's one of the two. So if we get another one, then we'll finish it. We oh. could do it now, but what if we want we need to use them oh right are we gonna get raided before that though i'm just worried about somebody taking them all right i turn them in i mean am i wrong no turn them in you know we'll go to two all right so you, now you said somebody's sleeping in bed for the night right yeah amelia's gonna just sleep. so amelia's gonna sleep so for sleeping in a bed their fatigue goes to zero nice. no matter what it is because they're sleeping for the night are we leaving somebody on guard duty? We should. Don't you think? Yeah. With the pistol. Yeah, so I guess we'll send... Anton. Oh, we're going to send Amira out for sure, because she brings back veggies every time, remember? Oh, yeah, they're going scavenging. Yeah. yeah. So he can stay on guard duty with a pistol. Yeah. He's packing heat. Yep. So nobody's getting in tonight. Not while... Uh, Does he have to bring ammo, too? Not while Amelia's sleeping. There you go, there's some ammo. He's in the house, so. Yeah, that's true. He's got like, access. Excuse me, intruders. Just yeah. wait one minute while I go get my ammo. Yes, I, I left it in the storage facility. <laughs> uh, so there you go. So fatigue is going to go up on everybody by one. So yeah. everybody gets one fatigue. Except for her, because she's sleeping. Exactly, so these two. Okay. Exactly. Okay. All right, and now... We begin the scavenge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's decide on a location. Okay, so we just brought out the derelict squat, mm -hmm. which has meds, weapon parts, herbs, mm. or nothing. Mostly nothing, though. I don't think we should go there. You want to go back to the quiet house? You like the quiet house? That's pretty good. It's really it? good. It's got canned food. If we can get that, vegetables, meds, it's got everything we need. I know. It just had a lot of residents, but that, I think that's fine. But they're not there anymore. Oh, yeah. We just kind of we, we go we're going back this time, but sneaky. Okay, hopefully we stashed some stuff back. There. I hope so too. Do you want to bring anything to trade? Uh, we don't really have anything. Oh, jewelry. Uh, it's raised by five. We have jewelry. Yeah, definitely taking jewelry. Definitely taking. Is there a locked door? Yeah, closed yes. door. We'll take a lock pick. Uh, I hope that's good. Unless you want to bring like. Herbs. No, that doesn't really. It's not really big money, right? We're not going to use them, so it's two. It's worth two. Let's just take them. Oh, at the dawn phase, I should have raised her fatigue one more, but then she wouldn't have gotten an action to actually sit in a bed, I guess. At all, yeah. yeah. Okay. So bring those with us. They're they're weightless. Okay. We could bring mechanical parts and sell two of them because we have four. They're going to be too weight though, them. so we're going to have to sell them. Okay. You and I mean? sell them. We'll trade with what? somebody. Okay. For band-aids. They're only if, worth two. If we run into somebody. Yeah. Do you even want to bother? I don't really right, want bring to. Bring them back. We may not be able to bring Because if we don't back, trade, we're going to be stuck with two spots. And that's spots. always good if we get raided. We can give away those. You know. They will go before some other yeah. things. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're going to go to the, so let's move this, the house down here. Okay. And then we'll, uh, we'll get ready. Okay. So this, does it have a card underneath it? Yes, yep. it has a reaction. All right, so we're going to, this is actually a 12, right? Yep. Can you shuffle so those little, up? Yeah, uh, yeah. Do you want to shuffle them? Yeah, I'll shuffle them up real quick. Um, yeah, it's a 12 now. I don't know how it got closer, but. Because that one location left. Well, yeah. I, I know how it happened, oh. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, thematically, logistically. Because yeah. our house actually moved closer. Yeah. It's Maybe it's like if you learn the path, 
Maybe. Okay. It, it, okay. it takes you less time to get there because you're not looking for. Thematically, that works for me. You know, if, if you yeah. just think of time, right? So it's right. actually quicker to get there because we know where it is. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. All right. You get to start us off in the quiet house. Stairs. It's always down. stairs. It's That's the same thing that happened last time. And the time before that. Um, raising your by three and roll, I guess. Yeah, what else? Know, just just like... jump right in. Get some people going. Why not? Get some residents. Yeah, we need to see the residents here. Ten. Oh, ten. Perfect All roll. Right. Let's move on. M moving on. You want to go? Yes. Here, search furniture. So what do you want to do? You want to raise the no the the noise by one and roll, or do you want to just dump two cards? Dump two cards. Dump two cards. Right? Yeah. And let's search the furniture. Oops. Vegetable, herb, and bandages. Perfect. That's it. We're going home. Yeah. <laughs> uh, take two vegetables because she finds vegetables every time. So with the Myra, the homeless. Yeah. She is. She's quite okay. So once per scavenging with the Myra president. Uh, president. <laughs> The president. Add one vegetable to the findings pile, right? Okay. Yeah. And you got the bandage mm -hmm. and the herb, and we roll, and we find an eight. Which is? Which is another vegetable. Yes. Wow. Okay. And we're, we got it. We got a knife. We add a knife to the findings. So this is like... We can honestly just go we home. We could technically just leave. We leave right now. Because right. we have our bandages that we need. We have our veggies. Well, we could always use more bandages. Because no, I know. I agree. You're still hurt, just, right? I'm just taking inventory from a minimum, <laughs> minimum standpoint. But now we got a knife. We could fight. I don't want to fight anybody. Uh, right. <laughs> let's, let's press. Right. Oh. Uh, you may ignore this card or hide out. Return as many exploration cards as you wish and lower the noise by the same amount. I don't want to do that. Meh. Womp womp. There's some other hideout cards that are a little bit better. That are better. That. Like that. Like this one, like this hiding place. Um, you can ignore this or return two exploration cards to save it and use it any time. And what this does is after rolling for noise, we can discard this card to ignore an entire encounter with a resident or to perform a backstab. Let's do that. You want that? Yeah. So return it's, two cards? It's worth two cards. I'm fine with that too. So we, we took the hideout and made a hiding place out of it. Like a, like a t fort. Like a fort out a of tent. cardboard boxes. All right. Oh, a jam door. Is there a jam door here? No. Nope. There's no jam door. door. Yeah. So that goes here, and we draw a new card from the exploration deck. <gasps> Someone's here. Raise the noise by three. Good thing we have a hiding place. Yeah. Well, we don't actually have to encounter that person, which is good. Yes. Door. Hmm. Let's enter and raise the noise by one. Right? Because we're not going to yeah, encounter sure. anybody, so what does it matter? <laughs> we can be as reckless as we want. A closed door. That's good. Yeah, we have lockpick. We brought a lockpick, so let's pick that lock. Okay. Uh, return one exploration card uh -huh. and roll the black die. Oh, we need a five or a ten, though. Yeah. Or anything in between. Six. A six will do. Sweet. And After door opening, opens. add five cards from the exploration deck. <laughs> and we get rid of our lockpick. Yep. That was like our one shot to, to pick it. To pick it? Yeah. What are we picketing? We were picketing. <laughs> Pick it. We're not playing too many bones. <laughs> Draw and resolve one findings card. Furniture. Book, chems, and herbal meds. Uh, there's no more books. I know that for sure. Okay. But we can chems. take the chems and the herbal meds. And I'll roll for special findings. Herbal meds, right? Yep. I rolled a two. We found nothing. Okay. That's okay. But that's good. Mm-hmm. All right, so this findings is done, mm -hmm. and we could press on. You want to? I think so. We're doing pretty well. We still have our hideout, our hiding place. That's true, and we did. We paid for that. So. Search the heap. Search the heap. Return two exploration cards. Do you want to do that? Yeah, I think so. I'm not trying to roll for noise. Nope, right now. not now. We're at a seven. Yeah. This is bad. Um, draw. And Resolve the heap. Reality impact. Oh, Something this... unexpected has happened. Uh, did we find somebody in the heap? <sighs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. Gray. Gray. Uh, um, right. Check the number with the rare findings. That's 44. 44? Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and look at 44. This house must have been occupied either by a pill popper or a very sick man. Next to the kitchen where people usually put a pantry, there's a veritable drugstore. The owner had a bad heart, asthma, joint problem. All this is clear from the labels on the containers. 
Even if we have no use for most of these drugs, there's great demand for these kinds of medications around town. Drugstores have long gone out of business, but the sick still need their meds. Sometimes open, public exchanges are held. Those who have more than they need hand over their surplus to those in need of meds, even what's past expiration. Some of the meds you can use to buy something, or you can exchange them for food. We load up our backpacks with whatever we can carry. Write drugstore 44 on a blank token and add it to the findings pile. Treat it as a yellow token with a value of 30 and a weight of zero. What? We can use it to make a trade. Wow. Whew. Okay. So we have a 30 value item to trade with. So just yeah, add that to I'm our, just our put journal. It on yeah. That's nuts. All right. So this goes under the current location. So a couple of reality impacts in this quiet house. It's not yeah. so quiet. So we found the drug stash. So we have 30 extra dollars to trade with, which is. That's insane. It's, it's really good. Huge. All right. Huge. Let's explore. Did you roll for. Um, oh, that wasn't. That was just that a was reality. A reality thing, right? check. Yeah. Okay. That was rare findings. Basement entrance. Basement, and there we is. Do have a basement, basement entrance. entrance. Raise the noise by three and roll for noise. Do it. Oh, one. one. We fail. <laughs> we fail. Miserably. So let's enact our ignoring the encounter. Do not draw a residence card. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Bye. Well, I'll take that hiding place. Thank you. Okay. There you go. Uh, and lower our sound now to one, please. And yeah. now add five cards to the expiration deck. Oh my gosh. That's uh, the unknown you, deck. You need that much more stuff. And we can discard this during scavenging to resolve two finding cards oh, instead yes. of one. So we found a basement. Let's go. Open space. We don't have nope. open space. Bars. We don't nope. have any bars. It's not that kind of house. A pantry. This is exactly yes. what I've been looking for. Hallelujah. All right. So return okay. to exploration cards. Fine. Because we are out of here after this yeah, pantry. Yeah, we're doing like a big raid here. Okay. Um, all right. Draw and resolve. We're going to draw and resolve two. Yes. So we've got moonshine, vegetable, and sugar. Okay. And which I'll... we are actually out of vegetables. All right, that makes sense. Oh, wait, sense. no, we're not. Here we have one. Moonshine, moonshine. Which is worth a ton of money. Yeah. And, and sugar. sugar. And I'll roll a five. Gives us chems. I think we're out of sugar, actually. All right. How about chems? Do we have chems? Yes. All right. So that's our first. We're going to discard this basement entrance to do a second drawing, right? Yep. So we will shuffle this back in. All right, grab one. And what do we get? Pantry? Yep. Raw food, coffee, and sugar. Perfect. I'll roll the die again. It's and like the best war ever. We get a nine meds. Meds? Meds. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is like the hugest haul we need to get out of here. Yeah, let's slightly like, leave now. now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's draw All right. another card. Search. You may ignore and 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 the Ex Yeah, we're not even going to search the heap. There's heap. nothing yeah. else we need. So nope. we are done in this okay. quiet house. All right, so let's see. It's like the jackpot. All right, so All right, we have let's to decide. Leave this up there. And we, we can decide after the night raid. No, you have to decide before. Oh, you do? Yep, we I, didn't do that last night. Yeah, we did because it kind of... Um, we might have, we would have, we changed, might have decided ourselves. We would have changed things had we known. Oh, okay. I see. All right, so all this comes back with us for free. The stuff on this side, like all of this stuff. All right. I can. Can the people of YouTube see this? They can see it now. Okay, so all of this stuff is free. That's all weightless. <laughs> That's yeah. all weightless. So we've got three. So these are. This is just three, and we can bring back. We're limited on wood. Two wood. But we will bring back our max of two. I guess it's to five. And water. Three water. So bring back one wood. And four water. Yeah, I think that's, right? That's smart. Yeah. yeah, so that we don't have anybody going thirsty tonight. Yeah. There. And that should Good. be everything. Yeah. All right. So they've got a huge haul. Let's just hope that the other two can survive the night. The and night And that's what raid. they can bring back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, five and three. Oh, because Marco is out there. Okay. Well, yeah, Marco's always out there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. With this uh, big fireman backpack. Yeah, he's good. He's so good. All, All right. right. Night raid? Yeah. Oh, what is Memories. this? Choose a character currently on guard duty and check their misery. And, and roll, roll the, the black die. Oh, Anton. Oh, no. Anton, he's so empathetic. What's his misery at? He's at two? level two. 
Okay, so 633. No, he's at level 2. Oh, misery level 2, two to, to three. 3. What? And then roll the black die, and whatever the black die is, we read that one. Oh, I see. So, oh gosh. Anton gets a 4. So it's in chapter 39. Chapter 39. This is like the teeny tiny chart, by the way. It looks kind of like that. Let's see what happened to Anton. I used to teach young people mathematics. It's hard to find a more useless skill to have at times like these. But I know how to set up a trap and cook a rat. Not a day goes by without learning something new, as I used to say to my students, but now they are all gone. They've been slaughtered like cattle, or worse. But you shouldn't terrorize animals before you slaughter them, should you? Their fear taints the taste of the meat. That's it. Ew, he's going nuts. He's going crazy. That's all that happens. That's so he's it. just sitting there, like, commiserating. This goes back in the night race. Yeah, so he just has like a reflection. Yeah, a reflection. And nobody just... nobody came during and the night. And he's got his pistol too. Yeah, where is it pointing? <laughs> I don't know. That's a very good question. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Okay. Okay, crime wave. Uh, All right. I guess bring in more residents. See, yeah. that's why it's I usually didn't... one resident. All right, and one so night raid. And now at the dawn. So at the beginning of dawn. She can raise her fatigue to lower her misery. Yeah. And I think I might do that I mean, she's at zero fatigue because she slept all night right yeah so i mean at least i can lower her misery to one yeah you and know? give her one fatigue give that's her one not bad fatigue. at all so we've got all of this coming back this is crazy i know this is insane i don't even know if we have room in storage for all this we really need somebody to like trade with. I know. Why would anybody come trade with us? Well, they will eventually. At some point. All right. So these, you know what I want to do with these meds mm -hmm. is right away just cash them in. Cash them in so that we complete our journey. Our journey. So we, we, we're giving it to the sick, especially because yeah. we have a pack full of drugs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know. So that med is spent. That's done. We've got our water. We've got our food. We've got so much of everything. Yeah. We're just... We're just so resource heavy right now. This could all go bad this really fast. This could go really bad really fast. We got very lucky right. that night raid. So we can assign bandages. Do you want to put one on Amelia and get her healed up? Yeah. We don't need any more? We do. Oh, but we, we don't. For our objective? No, it's done. It's done? It's okay, done. I'll band-aid her. So she gets band-aid. Um, we don't have any meds because nobody's sick at this point. Uh, and then we're going to draw a fate card. All right. Raise wounds of all un... Of all wounded, unbandaged characters by one. So she's going to two. Okay. Lower the illness of all characters who took meds by one. Discard med tokens from all characters. No band-aids? No. Well, uh, she, she gets discarded, but she doesn't go... It didn't heal her wound. Why? Because this round, anybody who wasn't bandaged got worse. But it kept her from going worse. That's true. You know what I mean? All right. So if the cold, cold tokens minus board ups, we have what? Five cold tokens minus no board ups? No, we have one, two, three, four, five, plus six, two. seven. It's All right. Plus so two. Uh, raise the illness of two chosen characters by one. Okay. Marco's getting sick. Mm hmm. Illness. Um, and then who else? get sick. I need to find these illness tokens. Um, uh, Anton can get sick. He's okay. He just can't be hungry. Anton? Yeah. Alright. And uh, exchange the nearest small location? Uh, it's going to be our quiet house. Okay, so that's going away. <laughs> Saw that coming. Okay. And then resolve any weight tokens and resolve spirit B on all characters. Oh, military outpost. Oh, nice. That's good. Spirit B? Mm-hmm. So let's start at the top. What do you got? Is this the dawn phase? Yeah. Okay. Well, I was looking to see if I wanted to... You did that already. Oh, I did that? Okay. Sorry, just checking. Because uh, her misery is going to go up. Okay. Yeah, so it's good, it's good you did that. Yeah. Very good you did that. All right, so B. B. Yeah. Uh, he's ill, lower his illness, so he's not. He just heals anymore. himself. And B, if she's hungry, lower her hunger by one, so she actually becomes not hungry anymore. That's however so that good, works. Because she's just eating <laughs> bugs. 
Uh, and if Anton is hungry, level two or three. Two levels for three races illness, and he's not. So he's not. So he's good. We're managing our people pretty well here. Except for Amira, she's <laughs> kind of hurt. <laughs> she's. <laughs> She's just a little hurt. A little but then again, we had to give all of our meds and stuff to the away. Community, yeah, know. we gave back to the community. Yeah. It's good to give back to the community. It's socialism at its best. Yes. Not everybody can get here. So she can finally get out of bed. All right. And these guys can come down. And um, we drew our fate card. Now we get to draw our narrative actions, right? Yep. So I'll shuffle these up and go ahead and decide which one we want. All right. So we've got headshot during your combat. Or during your backstab. Mm -hmm. If you are using a firearm, kill discard one ammo to automatically kill. It's like an auto kill thing. Okay. Um, or you can play during the night raid phase. If the character on guard duty has a firearm, discard one ammo to automatically ignore one whole night raid. Card. Wow. That's really good. Through the sewers. Um, play at the end of the night raid phase. A chosen character on guard duty may bring additional items from, from finding. findings to storage. Yeah. Oh, I like this one. The headshot's yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's really good. And we can keep this yeah. like for That's as long as we need to, it. To use it whenever we yeah. want. So that is our narrative. Cool. Sweet. And that is it. So yeah. that ends chapter one. We let's, are now starting chapter two. Let's see what we have. So we help the sick and wounded in uh -huh. our area. The reward, lower all characters' misery by two. Yes, that's great. So, so she's not miserable anymore. They're all so happy. Because we were able to assist. We right? helped everybody. We helped everybody, the sick and wounded. If, we, if the epidemic would have given us all one illness. Yeah. So <clears throat> that objective's gone. And so our chapter two objective would be food for the hungry. So now we have to keep feeding oh, good. raw food or canned food. So it's not even like vegetables. Like they won't even take vegetables. No, they're, they're, so needy. they're very Back needy. <laughs> so we are at the very top. Wow. Didn't okay. I hear like beggars can't be choosers? Can't be, but they're choosing. So there it is. That's, uh, that's chapter one. All right. Let's go talk about let's it. Let's go talk about it. All right, that was chapter one. That was like the best chapter one that we've played. Yeah. To be honest, so. Yeah, we've had some pretty tough ones. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't so sure about um, that homeless lady, but she ended up helping us out a lot. She's actually, actually quite good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was I was actually really happy about that. Yeah. Once we kind of rationalized it and looked at her abilities. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's kick it off. So let's start with replayability, like always. Yeah. Um, wow. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> Having had this go various ways... <laughs> we've played... <laughs> we've played yeah, this. we've played this like four times now. Right. And and we haven't played four complete games, but we've right. played a number like of... Uh, we've played at yeah. least chapter one four times, maybe even more, I lost yeah. count. Um, and it's gone so different. Right. And that's with the same three starting characters. Yes. We didn't even try any of the yeah. other characters yet so we'll just put it that way right? right um and i think you've got various locations mm -hmm. you've got a variable setup for the cards even right. in your in your little hacienda in the beginning right <laughs> you've got um the color deck the color deck the events the With book the, like yeah and you always kind of worry about these games where you've got a booklet of stories like choose your own adventure yeah because you're like oh am i gonna get the same story again right at some point, inevitably, it's going to happen. At some point. Right. But yeah. I think you're talking many plays. Right. So that yeah. that's not even... Well, factor. and that's the thing I like, is that, you know, even if you're visiting the same locations, which you're lo you have so many locations in that deck, mm -hmm. it might a location might be out that you may not even visit while it's in the short period that it's even available right. during a, a whole game, you know? Right. And then if you do visit the same location twice... As we did in this game, Different and you things. do search something, you know, then you're not searching the same type. You know what I mean? Like the same type of you're thing. You're gonna kind of like imagine you're coming in a different way. If you do, and, then you're not pulling the same color most likely. So I don't know. I, I think that that piece of it was very well done. So, yeah. And led to a very high, like, very high replayability in this yeah. one. Yeah. And the the board is double sided. It is. Yeah. And the advanced <laughs> side of the board is far different. It, yeah. It, I mean, on the surface, it may look similar, but it's very different. Yeah. Um. Uh, I, I think it's tougher. We haven't played it, but just looking yeah. at it and kind of figuring it all out. It, well, it, you're able to build stuff we, like on the top of the building, your rooms and stuff, because you don't have as much space. Yeah, it's a smaller stuff. house. It's a smaller house. Um, but you have to like roll for snipers. Yeah, because there's no roof. So, so it's tougher. Much it's tougher. tougher. It's a different setup, and I yeah. think it'll change the way you play the game right. entirely. So yeah. huge replayability here. Right. 
Um, all right. So how about weight and audience? Who's this for? Oh man. So it's definitely I'm for a mature, seen, yeah. mature audience, right? Yeah, it is. But I think, I, I think, and I've read this somewhere, I may mm -hmm. be wrong, but I thought that if you take the red, the red and the black, the out. red and the black mm -hmm. out, it, it takes away some of the more graphic yeah, it does. events, yep. right? Cause there's some, there's some pretty heavy yeah. events in this right. that we've even come across. Well, and the thing I like about that is that you're not shuffling through like an entire deck of cards to mm -hmm. like take out okay all the graphic ones or something right you just take out those two the red and the black color card which is what's going to route you to those different storylines the lighter events and um and then you don't have to worry about it yeah i think it's really smart yeah. so um so but from a weight perspective i think it's the, the it's like it's a little it's light i yeah, wouldn't say it's, it's medium light. but it, yeah. it may and it may fall into the medium category but in honesty i think yeah it's it's light enough that you will not have trouble learning the rules yeah i think so and i don't think that there's i don't want to say there's no strategy to it because there definitely is a strategy from mm -hmm. like a planning perspective and and kind of from like an action selection you know standpoint you do have to kind of think ahead a little bit but compared to some other survival type games it's not as punishing yeah. i don't think or maybe it's equally punishing no matter it what is. you like, do i think it's maybe a better way to put it as you saw things went kind of really good in the end for yeah. us on that la and end of the chapter but we've had some that go really bad yeah really fast. really fast and it just once you start spiraling it's really hard to come back from that we had uh, anton died yeah he died in, in our last place <laughs> I thought that's like, funny. But. It, well, it wasn't, but it was funny because it was like it was like the first day. Yeah, like, literally the first, the first day, day. He was like he dead. was dead. Like it was just a perfect storm yeah. of awful. Yeah, things. if you get into fights early on and you're you're just not prepared for them. Yeah. Or if the night raid goes south on you mm -hmm. and some bad guys come in, you could pretty much just about lose somebody. Yeah. And if you can't, if you just can't find bandages. Yeah. Your exactly. character will most likely die. And well, you've you got to... Like, with like replayability, if those yeah. locations don't come out, yeah. you're struggling. I mean, we've we've tried so many different strategies with this. Yeah. Trying to, like, build the... We did the herbal garden the one time. Yeah. And, like, that bring didn't... out the better band-aid maker. Yeah, we want to actually start making... And at some point in the later chapters, you will you can, start yeah. making your own meds. You will start, you know, making your own band-aids, start cooking food, catching food. Yeah. Heating up to, to reduce some of the cold tokens so it doesn't it's not as brutal but for you. The fact you. that it can go so bad so early. Yeah, and you yeah. really have to to kind of decide. Yeah. What to do at every right. moment, and the wrong decision can pretty much end your game. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what's really cool about. Yeah. It. So. And I would say, in front, from an audience standpoint, um, I'm not t like survival games aren't like my totally favorite type of game to play. Right. Um, but I enjoyed I enjoyed this one, so yeah. I felt like there was a little more control over, even though so much of it is random. Right. I at least didn't feel like so punished. Right. So. so I think from a weight, I'll give it a yeah. medium, but I think it's a little lighter I think, yeah, medium. I would actually, yeah, I'd say like a heavy light. Heavy light, light medium. <laughs> whatever green, you want to call yellow, it. Yellow, green, yellow, yeah. green. All right. So. All right. Let's talk about theme components. So, do you feel like you're in the middle of a war? No. You know what though? I I think you know we'll stick with theme, right? And yeah. the theme is obviously the war theme but it's it's based on the video game right this yes, war of mine i know and it does a phenomenal job of translating this computer game experience experience into a yes. board game it uses the same characters from the video game it uses the same concepts same upgrades all that other stuff and it really feels like you're playing this video game on a board game mm -hmm. and that's huge yeah and I think that that's, it's a difficult thing to do, Yeah. but you do feel like even like moving around the board and taking your actions and things and how everything's kind of broken up into phases almost, mm -hmm. um, it, it makes a lot of sense. I mean, you, like your character stats and all that kind of thing, like you could, you know, you can see that playing out. So yeah, it's, I it's mean, everything, like no detail. Really, really well done. The theme, yeah. the game, the components are nice. Yeah. The art's good. It's all in the style of the video game, right. um, and, and it's just it's just really well done. Yeah, really, really well done. I like the components. I like the tokens are actually like cutouts. Yeah, like they're the nice. moonshine is like a little moonshine box. It's really the detail is really, really nice. Yeah, the, really the well done. Is really, really applied well. I yes. Guess. All right. So, but fun factor. Do I have enough to ask if you had fun? No, I, I really I had a we lot. We always of fun. have fun. I feel like we should just take this question out. It's brutal and punishing fun though. <laughs> yeah, I should be. What kind of fun did you have? Yeah. Define your fun. It is definitely a brutal game. 
Don't get me wrong. It is. But if you don't mind getting beat down, yeah, it's those times when you actually get successes you, that like feel wins. that much like better. Right? Like, so I we're on kind of a high after what we just did because yeah. we had such a good outcome to, to the chapter. Because <laughs> yeah. if you would have seen our last three games, you'd have been like, "Oh my god!" Like we were just yeah. like, "It was awful." Ah, was we're brutal. done. We're screwed. So it, it can get yeah. so punishing, but it's <laughs> really it's a good game. Yeah. Um, all right, cool. So let's talk about what this compares to. What does this compare to? I mean, this is like your, your survival it's your games, survival right? Survival it's game. like your Robinson Crusoe's first Martian-y mm -hmm. type, you know, just survival, like core yeah. survival, you know? Right. And, um, to feed everybody, to feed yeah. everybody water. Yeah, you gotta get like, the food, you gotta get the wood. You and gotta, if you don't, you know, then you're punished, and right. et cetera. So yeah. that's, you know, and like kind of a dead of wintery without a traitor. Yeah, I would right? say like the the vibe of it is very like dead of wintry, except yeah. it's not zombies. It's you know, yeah, you got to go out, you got to search locations, you got to scavenge, you got to bring the stuff back. Yeah, like that's that's dead of winter really. So right. I mean, it's it, in any of those games, it's all it's with that's more of a narrative, much more narrative. Yeah. Which which again reminds me of a video game. Yeah, because it's like you're you're getting the whole story out of it. Right, it's we're, not we're, just an experience where you're playing the game. Dead of winter has the um, crossroads cards that are actually mm -hmm. story cards that may or may not happen depending on if a certain series of events actually happen and then they add a little bit of flavor to the game but i think that this the way the the book is structured and the locations and how the certain stories tie to the locations mm -hmm. that really kind of makes the story feel more uh well applied right right and that's what really brings the theme home is because you're in a supermarket there's you know the odds are a an event yeah is going to aim back to that supermarket, right? right? Because the events on that card are all going to point you in that direction. Yeah. And that that's really cool. And I think that's yeah. where where the narrative comes in. Yep, I yep. agree. Um, so how about your expectations for this one? Um, Do you want to talk about how we acquired this game? Yeah, so we got this from our friend Cullen over at the One Stop Co-op Shop. Yeah. He, uh, he donated it to us because uh, he's awesome. Yeah. And um, he's like, you guys have to play this. He had done a playthrough on his channel, so if you yeah. want to, you want to see a, a real a good, he'll play through the whole thing too. Yeah. Uh, real good playthrough. Definitely go check that out. Um, so he sent us his copy. Uh, he wanted to see us and get our thoughts on it. So yeah. Uh, I was kind of excited. So I, yeah. I liked the video game. I played on my iPad. And uh, it's just as brutal and, and difficult, but um, my expectations were, I expected it to be decent, but I didn't expect it to be as good as it was for me. Okay, so it exceeded your expectations. It definitely exceeded my expectations. Okay. Yeah. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. I knew it was a survival game. Right. And I know I'm not like the biggest fan of survival games, mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed this one, so I'd say it exceeded my expectations as well. Well, that's good. So that's good. That's good. Yeah, I actually like to keep playing. I don't feel like... Sometimes I feel like flipping the table. This one you didn't. Well, didn't. actually, there were a few playthroughs where we both were like... We were both like, this is just not good. Yeah, this isn't happening. Like, this is bad. Like, yeah. why did you decide to stay? We should have left. Like, you know, right, like... Because right. it's like you're, you're taking turns making the choices. Well, like, let's, let's talk about that for a minute. Because yeah. um, I think that... Uh, we're going to go into, like, pros and cons. Yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah. But I think that it's important to kind of take a minute to talk about this. Because this is... It's a cooperative game... Kind of, but it is based on a video game mm -hmm. that you would normally play by yourself yeah. for the most part, right? Uh, so it's like, I know you had thoughts Yeah, on that, so... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'll set yeah. it for you. <laughs> All right, you teed it up. So this, and you know, I, 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 I've played a lot of solo games in my time, mm -hmm. right? And um, still a huge fan of solo games. This is a, a cooperative game by, by classification. Right. But in my opinion... Yeah. This plays much better solo. Yeah. Hands down. Yeah. No question. From my, this is my opinion, mind you. Yeah. Um, only because the experience is cool to, to play with other people, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, I think you'll end up more frustrated with the person you're playing with. Yeah. And enjoying the experience less when it goes south. Right. Right. You enjoy the positives and the good outcomes, right. and you're like, yeah, we made a great choice here. Awesome job. Cool. But when you're exploring and you've got a bunch of stuff already and you've got a couple cards left and you're mm -hmm. like, you know what, we should pull out now. And the other person's like, no, I think we should go a little bit further. They draw one more card. It triggers visitors. And that happened. The they come. The they shoot when your guy's almost dead. Yeah. And you finally get out of there and you're like, we should have just left. Like, right, we, right. we didn't need anything else. Yeah. So it's like... You and then almost, you send somebody out on guard duty who's like yeah. very sick and then they die. And they get killed, right? So it's like... 
And you're like, I probably would have sent more. Yeah, I would have done differently. I would have sent a different person. Like, <laughs> so you're gonna have these these back yeah. and forths, and that's where I think you'll get a little bit of tension between yeah. players, and, and that's where I think it loses sort of the cooperativeness. Right, and you know the the to kind of accommodate for that, I think like that's we talked in the playthrough too about passing the journal back and forth. Yeah. Because the idea is like, okay, you pass the decision maker, you know whatever every right. turn so that it's not a solo game with everybody watching exactly and i think that you do see this a lot with like i know like pandemic mm -hmm. you you know you might you see, could see that yeah any of these kind of games that really are very strong solo games that don't give a lot of autonomy to the individual players right you do get this nemo's war we sensed that even though yes, you had different yes. roles? That's very, very good. Very good. Yeah, because... No, it, it, that was actually very, very good. Very, very good. So, um, no, yeah, because you're passing the captain back and forth. Right. But if you're if you're a team like us that... Mm -hmm. Like, we make decisions together right. anyway. Like, you'll feel bad if you don't ask the other person what they think. And if you just make the decision on your own and it goes south, then you feel, like, guilty. And the other person feels, like, frustrated. Yeah, it's your and, fault and, like, I wouldn't have done that. You, you know, know what I mean? Because I mean? it's always going to yeah. come up. Yeah. So, at the end of the day. Yeah. And we're, like, probably the most cooperative. Yes. Cooperative people, like. We enjoyed playing this game together. Yeah. I would probably prefer to play it solo. Me too. So, there you go. <laughs> No, only because, like, I would feel, like, I feel so bad if I make a wrong decision mm -hmm. about something, or, like, a wrong decision, even though you never make me feel like it's a wrong decision. No, but you're both, you know like, I mean? uh... But you're both, like, ugh. And I'd rather just, like, have that misery for myself yeah. and be, like, darn it, you know? I'd rather watch you play yeah. than have to make decisions with you. Right. Like, or just make and, a little suggestion and, that's, here and, and maybe it's because very similar to a video game, like it kind of reminds, I'm not a big like video game person. Mm -hmm. um, not but, like this guy. Yeah, not like, like he'll play a video game and I'll like watch. Yeah. The, the, you know, and like do something else. Um, but I enjoy the experience of like watching the story play out, mm -hmm. you know, and I'll like, I can jump in and like do something for yeah, a minute yeah, yeah. or whatever, but like, you know, it's very much your experience, um, and I feel like that's kind of how this game is too. Just to reiterate, you know what you yeah. said that I think that it would be it would be a really cool, it'd be like reading a choose your own adventure book with somebody else. Yeah, and then them that's telling like you the best way I can choose think is, that one. Yeah, and you'd be like, no, but I won't want because to choose that one. Because it's your experience. Yeah. Like you're reading the book, you're choosing the story, like you're going through it, you know. And it's you know I think that there's a place for. A little bit of like independent play yeah and i think this is like solo absolutely fantastic yep i agree two player couples three four player no. i can't even imagine i can't even imagine three or four people nope nope don't want to do it nope that doesn't make it any less of a game it's just yeah. that i think it's it's more plays best with one we'll just say that yeah yeah yep all right, All right, cool. So, I think that, that kind of did it. Um, the pros and cons, I guess we can go over really quickly. I yeah, mean, Obviously, yeah. we talked about components, fantastic. Themes, fantastic. Um, iteration of the board game from the from the video game, wonderful. Top notch. Um, cons? You might want to play it solo. Yeah, I think so. Anything else? Um, no, there's just a lot of components. <laughs> I know. I do like, I do want to point out, there's that, that save feature is really cool. Save feature is awesome, yeah. When we finish up a chapter, we can just like write it down. We have like another five games we have to do or something. Mm -hmm. And then we can come back to it and it's all right there on the sheet. You're not just like taking a bunch of notes. It's like, yeah. you just write everything uh, we could. I mean, you could say a con is that the um, that it, it can be swingy. And what I mean awesome. by swingy is that it can be really, really bad or oh, really, really yeah, good. That like true. that's that variable. People, somebody may not like that, yeah. right? Some people like more control over the experience. The experience when this one you don't have any control. Mm -mm. Things will go bad. Yeah. And they will spiral out of control. Like you could just have a, a bad set of card draws. Yeah. And bad thing happens after bad thing after or bad thing. Or you have a good set. Like, like you saw, needed, like you good, know? good, 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 and all yeah. of a sudden you're like just ripping through. So you may look at the game and watch the playthrough and be like, wow, that was a piece of cake. That doesn't look hard at all. You just saw how it all can go <laughs> this good. This is probably like the best. Yes, yeah. this won't happen again. Yeah. So you didn't see the last three that, you know, everybody pretty much died. Yeah. So, and actually, we still have two more chapters to go through. I know, we do. And it like, gets I'm progressively still... harder. Yeah. So. Like you saw us adding those cards. We didn't draw one yet. They're right. bad. They're yeah. bad. They're so. really bad. 
Uh, so that's it. Okay. All yeah. right. Anything else you want to say? No, I think that's it. Uh, I think you that's know, thanks again to Colin, good. man. Yeah. Really appreciate it. Yeah. Hopefully we did it justice. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Um, don't forget to check us out on uh, Facebook if you have that still. It's like kind of antiquated, I guess. But yeah. uh, Twitter at Ant Lab Games and email us at antlabgames at gmail.com. Yeah, we'll get back to you. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See ya.